Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and today oh, man, we're gonna be trying genius hacks for lazy people. This one's perfect for me because I feel like I'm pretty lazy. Let's do this. Try attaching broom bristles to a remote controlled car, slide through some plastic zip ties, there you go. You can sweep up a mess in a fraction of the time with a regular broom. Woo. Okay guys, so here's our car. Perfect. Here's our broom and dustpan. Ugh, don't need that anymore. So now I have to somehow zip tie this onto this. Okay, wish me luck. So I think the first move would be to like, oh, that keeps coming off. Oh no. Okay, so I think if I just do it like that, should be good. Boop -boop -boop. There we Come on, almost. Maybe I need two of them. Yes. Oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna do a cross actually. Boop -boop. And, oops, ha ha, yes, I think that I may have done it. Now I just need to tighten these. Ah! Okay, there we go. Oh no. I think I might have put the broom a little too high because now it's not making contact. See? How am I supposed to turn? Okay, uh, maybe I could trim these. That might be good. Just grab our scissors. Maybe just a little bit off the bottom. Here we go. Nope, still have a lot left. Uh, oh man. What am I gonna do? I feel like I'm gonna have to take so much off. Maybe this was a bad idea. Um, hmm. I'll just keep going. Yes, is this satisfying? Is this good? Oh, okay. I did it. Yes. Now, if only I had a little sweeper thing to sweep. Oh, man, it fell down. Okay, let's see if it'll clean itself up. Oh, okay, so you can't really see it, but there's a trash can down here. Uh, I'm going to attempt to sweep all of it into this trash can. Let's do it. Oh, my gosh. Let's let's do it. Ready? And here we go. <gasps> Oh no. Okay, try it again. Maybe be a little bit more careful with this. Here we go, ready? And sweep it in. Dang it, I'm really bad at this. You can do it, car. No! Okay, maybe this is a bad idea with my table. Okay, uh, maybe I should try it on the floor. Okay, so here's our popcorn. Oh no, I, I got it everywhere. What am I gonna do? Well, I have the solution for you. Here we go. Okay, car, I need you to sweep it into this dustpan. Let's do it. Ready? Yes. Yes. No. This was a terrible idea. Okay, you can do it. It's real slowly. No! Okay. You can do it, car. Here we go. A small amount. Let's see if I can. Yes. Come on. Just get it in there. You can do it. Maybe if I had a better remote control car. No, you're doing it wrong. Well, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one doesn't really work. I think I've actually made a bigger mess than when I started, so I, I wouldn't recommend this one. Thumbs down. Squeeze out some toothpaste onto the egg. Now spread it around the egg. Then put it right back into the carton. Ugh, oh, I'm starved. My eggs! Whoa! They're like gummy. Let's see if this sucker can bounce. Okay, guys, so here are our eggs. We only really need one egg, so uh, get out of here. Go ahead and put that on a plate so it doesn't get everywhere. And we just get our toothpaste and kind of work it 
into the egg. Now we have pink toothpaste at the moment. And uh, it's it's bubblegum flavor. Ooh, I'm sure it'll do the same thing. It's, it's like the same toothpaste, it's just pink. Wow. Now we're just gonna go ahead and rub this all over it. There we go. Oh my gosh. Hey, napkin. Okay, now we just let this sit. They actually didn't tell me how long I was supposed to let this sit for, so I'm just gonna guess like 24 hours. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay guys, so it's been a little bit over 24 hours. Let's see how this did. I think I might have just broken when I slammed it down actually. Okay, is it jello-y? Lift it up. Oh, that still feels uh, pretty hard actually. This doesn't feel jello-y at all. Is it gonna bounce? I don't think it's gonna bounce. That did not bounce at all. Oh god. Oh my gosh, this is so sticky. Oh my gosh. Oh! I think I just broke it. Oh my god. Did I just break it? Whoa. It is kind of weird underneath. Whoa. Wait, nope. It's just a normal egg. Oh. It's just a normal egg covered in toothpaste. Oh, it's leaking every- Oh! Oh no. Well, guys, I guess I'm glad to say that this one doesn't work. Cut out a print, spray the front of the print with perfume. Fill a small bowl with water. Place the print face up in the bowl. Wherever you choose to place the tattoo, spray it with perfume. Place the print face down, spray the top of the paper. After a minute, go ahead and lift the paper. That really does look real. Okay, which one do I want? Yes, this is art and print. Come on, you got this. Why are you working? Okay, just change the ink cartridge. Please work for me. You can do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, please. Oh, a red button of death. It took the paper. It took the bait. Please work, 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 please work. You can do this, champ. No! What is wrong? Dude, I hate printers. Oh my god, I think it's doing it. It did it! Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. It's perfect. I love it. Let's go make this into a temporary tattoo. Okay, there it is. Now I just need to get some perfume. Uh, I'm gonna go ask Tori for some. Okay, here's some perfume that Tori gave me. Oh, it smells like Tori Dabransky. But before we do that, we have to cut this bad boy out. Okay, yeah, don't need that anymore. Let me go ahead and spray it with perfume. It's pretty wet. Then we get our cup of water. And then it said to put it in here for about two minutes. Okay, I'll see you guys in about two minutes. I'm gonna go wash off my hand because it smells a little too much like Tori. Okay, it's been about two minutes. Then I go ahead and spray my arm. Looks good. Now we gotta get this bad boy out. And then we put it face down. Oh man, here we go. Yeah, not bad. Okay, then we just go ahead and spray the top again. I'm just drenching it. Yes! And we have to make sure, oh my gosh, Tori's perfume's a little sticky. Just kinda hold it against there for about a minute. Oh man, I really can't wait to take this bad boy off and see how it turns out. Okay, I let it sit for about a minute. Uh, let's see how it turned out. You guys ready? And... Oh, dang! It didn't come off at all. I wonder what happened. Why don't you want to come off? Dude, it didn't work at all. I wonder why. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Dang, that sucks. I kinda wanted a temporary tattoo. Ugh, oh well. Put your thumbs out like this, see? Now I'm going to place my glass of juice on top of your thumbs. Well, Maya, this was super fun, but uh, look at the time. Wait, now what happens? I think I may need a little help here. Oh, man. Okay, guys, so I've actually tried this one on my buddy Chris, aka Hair Jordan, before, and unfortunately, he freaking got it. Here, let's just show a really quick clip. Can you do it? Can you get out of it? Oh, I did it! So now we're gonna test this out on Johnny and see if he falls for it. Let's do this. <laughs> well, Johnny Gorber, oh. I have a magic trick I want to show you. Okay. Come here, let's go. Okay. okay, so what I need you to do is I need you to put your hands on the counter and put your thumbs just like that. Just like that, okay. even. You ready? Yes. So magic. just like that, and I'm gonna put this cup right here, just kind of balance it. Yeah. And that's it! Woo! Supposed to get out. That's you've been pranked! I got out. You didn't even try it. To make this one work. Wow. So. Well, it looks like I now have a mess to clean up. It turns out that I've been pranked! Ah! Well guys, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one doesn't work. This one. No, it doesn't work. No, Johnny. it works. It, it made a mess. Whoa, it's like molasses or something. Dude, you, you gotta show me how. Say hello to the secret ingredient. Pour the glue into the bottle of Coke. It'll fall to the bottom at first, like a long, creepy snake. And now for the funnest part. Shaky, shaky. Okay, guys, so here's our Coca-Cola. It's pretty good. 
Yup, that tastes like Coke. Let me go ahead and get some of our glue. Okay. And we just start pouring it in there. Oh, that is some that is some gloopy glue. Gloopy glue. <laughs> Everyone subscribe to my new channel, Gloopy Glue. That's my new channel, guys. I'm not actually starting a channel named Gloopy Glue. Or maybe I should. I don't even know what I do on it. Yes, this is good. I'm gonna add this entire bottle of glue into the Coca-Cola. And that about does it. So we just put our cap on. Oh, it is all up and down the side of it. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited for this Coca-Cola slot. Shake, 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 shake. Oh my gosh. That looks intense. Like, I don't even know if it's a good idea for me to open this. But you know what? One, two, three, go has never let me down before. So here we go. Wow, that was anticlimactic. Nothing happened. I was kind of expecting it to like explode or something. I shook this pretty hard. I go ahead and pour some into this cup. Ew. That, that is not slime at all. I feel so lied to. There's no slime. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Putting glue inside a Coke. That does not make slime. You'll need a straw and some scissors. Flatten out the straw. Cut diagonal slits at the end, continuing most of the way down. Be patient. It may take a minute. Stick that sucker in the drain and pull it out. Hair and all. A clear drain is a happy drain. Oh, okay, guys, so the first thing we're gonna need are some straws. Save the turtles! Don't worry, Koopa, I'll save you from these evil straws. They'll never hurt you again. Oh, here we go. Then we grab our scissors. I only really need one straw, so uh, get out of here. Oh, this straw's broken. Can't use that one. Yeah, perfect. Actually, I want the yellow one. Yellow's better. So then we just kind of uh, do this. Cut like that. But first we have to flatten it. Oops, I forgot the flattening part. So we're flattening it. Then we just go like this. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay, yeah, we got some little hooks on here. Let's go and try this out on the shower. Okay, guys, here we go. We're just gonna untwist that. Yeah, there we go. And then we're just gonna put that down there. And hopefully, we'll get some hair. Oh, uh, come on, you got this. Okay, ready? And we're gonna try and pull this puppy out. I didn't get any hair. Oh yeah, I forgot. I just cleaned out my shower. Dang it, this is a bad time. Come on, there's gotta be something in here. Wow, this is anticlimactic. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and try this with another shower. Dang, it looks like this one is clean as a whistle. Oh man, and this one is too. Let's see, do you have any hair in here? Oh, there's a receipt. But it's still freaking clean. Guys, I did not see this coming. Okay, there's only one other option. I have to clog the drain myself. Tori Dabransky, do you have any extra hair that I can use to clog the drain? How do you clog the drain? I need to clog the drain with hair. I like the drain without Tori Dabransky, I need to clog the drain. Can you help me? I just need you to cut off some of your hair. Well, guys, I really didn't see this problem coming. The problem is I don't have a problem with my drain, and that is a problem for my problem to be problem solved. <sighs> well, guys, I guess we have to say that we don't know if this one works. Inclusive. I feel so lame. I should have thought of this. What am I doing with my life? I'm sorry, guys. I failed you. I don't recognize this person at all. Is she new in town? Okay, this is weird. Wah! Looks like you really scared Vicky there. Okay guys, this one looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. So the first thing I need to do is flip my shirt around. Oh yeah, flip my shirt around, that's definitely gonna sell it. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, that looks a lot different, am I right? Oh, that'll definitely throw Johnny off. Then we're gonna go ahead and get a wig that I stole from my girlfriend. Put this on my face. Uh, this on my face like, like that. Oh, yes. Then maybe we can put the beanie like that. Uh, yeah. What do you guys think? Convincing, yeah. Pretty good. Does that look good? I, I can't tell because I can't see anything. Okay, this is what it looks like from the opposite end. I probably should have set up two cameras. Okay, let's go ahead and test this out on Johnny. I really hope I'm recording myself because I can't see anything. Okay, hidden camera. Check. Main camera. Check. Let's test this out on John. Oh, Johnny Gilbert! Come here, uh, come here. I have something. I have something to show you. Yes. What? What are you doing? Why are you looking so scary? <laughs> Johnny, come closer. I don't know if I want to, you look really scary. <laughs> <laughs> You've been great! I got you! You thought I was looking that way, but I was looking this way the whole time. Oh, is that what was happening? Hidden! You've been hitting camera! Oh my god, I... I, I'm on a TV show. I got you. Where's Ashton Kutcher? Woo! Oh my gosh, guys! Well, I guess we can say that this one works! Poor camera. You've been great! <laughs> I'm gonna leave. Bye, Johnny. I'll see you later. Bye. Start by putting the bar of soap in the microwave. The thing's melting like butter. Let the pranking commence. Whoa, where'd you get that? Let's trade. 
Wait. I hate you, Adam. Are you guys? So here's our soap. I should really use this on my desk. So we're just gonna go ahead and stab it. Oh, oh. That was a lot harder than I thought. Okay, I gotta try and... Uh, oh! Okay. We have a problem. I'm gonna go ahead and drill a hole so that we can fit our stick inside the soap. Okay, that ought to do it. That in there. Okay, it's good enough. Slap this bad boy on a plate. Now time to microwave it. They didn't say how long to microwave, so I'm just gonna say a minute. Oh boy, let's hope it doesn't explode. I think I might have made the stick a little too long because it can't turn inside the microwave now. Oh man, I hope this doesn't get everywhere. What's it doing? It started doing a thing. Oh my God, Did you guys see that? Oh shoot. Oh, that smells so weird. I feel like you're not supposed to microwave soap. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna take it out. Oh shoot. Okay. Okay. It's starting to it's starting to do a thing. <laughs> just looks like it started falling out of itself. Can I lift it up? Oh, that is stuck on there. That is so hot. I'm gonna break this stick off a little bit so that I can actually turn inside the microwave. There you go. Let's give it another minute. It's growing! Oh my gosh, it's doing a thing. It's doing a thing. Whoa! Oh my god. Whoa! Please don't get all over my microwave. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude! Actually kind of looks like cotton candy. Oh shoot. Oh, walked into my tripod. There we go. A nice steamy bowl of uh or plate <laughs> of soap. Doesn't look very cotton candy like. Uh well guys, do you think this could pass for cotton candy? I sure don't. Maybe if I like no, there's no way. Uh <laughs> guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. It just doesn't get fluffy enough. I don't know how the heck they made this look like cotton candy. Place the torn pair of pants on a table in front of you. Find the corner sticking out. That's the crotch of the pants that needs mending. By making this rip even bigger, you can now place your entire head through it. <sighs> okay guys, so here's my sweatpants, and ironically enough, I did have a pair with a hole in the crotch. How convenient is that? Okay, so the first thing's first, we need to fold this puppy in half. And boom! Then we get our scissors. I actually have a cover on these because they're so sharp. Just kidding, I didn't cut myself. Anyway, they just went like this. It looks like they just straight up cut the crotch off, so I guess I'll try that. You ready? Okay, let's hope I didn't make mistakes. And, oh, I think I might have done it. I think I did it correctly. That looks about the size of a, a t-shirt hole. Let's go ahead and try this puppy on. Okay guys, here we go. I'm just gonna... I know I'm gonna look ridiculous in this crop top, but it's fine. Actually, that's almost not a crop top. Not bad! I'm kinda digging this, actually. Wow! <laughs> it still has a little string. How funny. I bet Tori would actually like this. I'm gonna show this to her. I'm going to Bratsky! I have something to show you! What do you think? Come in! <laughs> Do you like my new crop top? Pretty good, right? Do Pretty you want, good. Do you want to try it on? Sure, I'll try it on. Okay, guys, I'm gonna have Tori try it on, and we'll be right back. <laughs> Whoa, Tori! You look great. I look great. Do you Do you like it? I like it. It's fun. And then it's can... fun, and it's hip, and I feel cool and warm. Do Do you want it? No. <laughs> oh, you could even wear it like a little bit off the shoulder. Yeah, there you go. I could tie my pants to my shirt so I don't get lost. Or... You can tie it to me. Oh my goodness, there we go. There we go. On now I won't lose my pants or my boyfriend. Anyway guys, I guess we're gonna have to say this one works. It looks pretty good on her. Pretty good. Tori, I think you should wear this outside. No, it's too cold for it that. It looks pretty good, but it's a sweater. It's like barely a sweater. Fresh hot fries and dip. Oh, hey girl, wanna join me for lunch? For those of you who don't like to share food, this prank is perfection. It doesn't feel like a fry. Okay guys, so Johnny is over there and he's currently eating Panda Express. So I'm gonna go ahead and ask him if he wants some ketchup. Let's do this. Hey, Johnny Gilbert! Oh, hi. Oh, I see you're eating some Panda Express. Uh, would you like some ketchup? Um, for my Chinese food? Yes. Uh, sure. Here. Oh, 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 that's so cool. Oh my god. You can break! Here, do you want a handshake? No, you can break! Are you going? Go, guys, I guess we can this one works! <laughs> Whoopsies. Wait a minute. I know exactly what to do. Behold, let's suck this mess up, shall we? It's pretty powerful for a blow dryer. Okay, guys, so I actually tried this one before uh, with this exact hair dryer, but there was a bunch of stuff kind of like clogging it up. And since then, I actually took another hair dryer and blew it out the other side, and all the stuff came flying out. That was actually Tori's idea. Uh, she saw me just picking at it, and I was like, uh. Anyway, so I think it'll work a lot better now. So here's the bottle we're gonna be using. Let's go ahead and snip, snip. Woohoo! Yeah, that should work. Okay. Oh no, I made it way too small. Ah! 
I need another bottle. Oh, here we go. I made sure that I had some extra this time. Oh, oh, that is that is perfect, actually. Except for the fact that it doesn't go all the way over, so I might need to tape it. I also want to take all the liquid out because I don't want to shock myself. I feel like this is probably a bad idea in the first place. Okay, there we go. So they just used the napkin as a filter. Uh, I'm scared to only use one, so I'm gonna maybe double it up. Well, I guess I'll use one at first. Use some rubber bands. There we go. Aha! Oh, <laughs> Why not? Started from back here. That looks pretty good. Now we have to somehow keep this bottle on here. I probably should have used like a Gatorade bottle or something. But luckily we have our bright pink duct tape. There we go. Aha. Oh, there we go. Perfect. So I don't want to go and ruin perfectly good makeup just to try and clean it up with this thing. So I'm just going to go ahead and use googly eyes instead. I have a lot of them, so I figure, you know, why not use them? Now for the ultimate test. You guys ready? Three, two, one. Okay, it hasn't exploded yet. Woo! It sucked up a googly eye. Whoa! It's actually working. Oh my gosh. Guys, I think I might have found the perfect googly eye picker-upper. Well guys, I guess we can say that this one works! Okay guys, so first things first, I gotta find out where I put my darn stapler. I can't find that darn thing anywhere! Oh, here it is. Perfect. Okay, yeah, this one ought to do. So we just gotta get a staple out, so just, uh, and I accidentally squished the staple. Oh man, uh, I can staple this. Haha, -ha, I've done it. Now I just have to try and round this out. Here we go, maybe use two pens. I think I might need some pliers. Okay, here are our pliers. Just uh, get our staple and just kinda gently round this off. And uh, there we go. It's very small. Uh, I'm sorry if you can't really see it that well. Uh, let's try this puppy on. <laughs> okay, so here's our little piercing. I've never had a nose piercing before. I have had a lip piercing. You can see the hole really closely if you look. Is that is that too close? Can you see that? Wow, this focus is really close. Anyway, let's go ahead and put this on our nose. And ow, ow. Stick like the inside of my nose. I think we're gonna sneeze. Wow, I look pretty freaking cool with this. Maybe I should get a nose piercing for real. Although, I think I'd always be touching my nose because I can feel it and it feels weird. I don't know, do you guys think I should get a nose ring? Let me know down in the comments down below. But anyway, I guess we can say that this one works! Has this ever happened to you? You go to brush your teeth, but then you realize there's no toothpaste! Where did it go? Is it in the drawer? Nope, it's not in the drawer! Where could it be? Is it under here? Nope! Is it in the toilet? Oh man, I hope it's not in the toilet. <laughs> and now there's only one thing left to do, and that is to call my mom. Mom! Where's my toothpaste? <laughs> it's in the drawer! It's not in the drawer! It's not in there! Mom! Where's my toothpaste? Don't make me come in there, honey. Now, if I find toothpaste inside this drawer, you're gonna be in trouble. Well, have a look. Okay, here it is. Look at all that toothpaste! Dude, if I were the mom, I would be so mad. See, I told you. So you know what this girl's solution is? She takes her toothbrush, and then she goes ahead and breaks it in half. Then she puts some hot glue on there, and she hot glues it directly to her toothpaste. It's the perfect crime. Now, she'll never lose her toothpaste or toothbrush ever again. It's highly convenient. Well, I guess it's time for me to try this one. First up, guys, we get our toothbrush. Now we gotta cut the handle off. That didn't work. <gasps> Come on. This knife is so dull. This ought to do it. Here we go. Uh, yeah, perfect. Then we grab our toothpaste and our hot glue gun, and we just put the hot glue on the on the tip of the toothpaste. Here we go. Having a hard time with this for some reason. You know what? Let's take that off. There's always a way around things. There we go. I feel like this is gonna fall off, so I'm adding a lot of hot glue. Stay. No! It doesn't really want to stay. Is that gonna work? Nope. Stay just like that, please. Is it gonna do it? Nope, nope, it's slipping again. I think it's working. Okay. Nope, nope, stay up, stay up. They didn't tell you how to make it stay up, and that's where I have a problem with this. I'll see you guys when the hot glue cools down. I have to keep making this thing stay up, too. <laughs> okay, the hot glue is nice and cooled down. Put that back on. Admittedly, 
little crooked. Yeah, I'll admit it. But you know what? It's fine. It'll work just the same. Let's try it out. Okay. Take this bad boy off. Yes. Put it on here. I don't use princess toothpaste. And we put it back on. I don't know if you guys are ready for this. Wow! Oh my god! What? That's amazing! I can actually brush my teeth with this! What are the chances I would be able to do that? Well guys, I guess we can say that this one works! These cute little buns! Have some socks you don't care about, cut off the tips, roll it up just like this. Pull your hair through and loop it around. Then keep rolling all the way up the hair. Spread the hair a bit. That way you can't see the sock anymore. Wow, these look spectacular! Hey okay, guys, so here are our socks. They both already had like crazy holes in them. I wear the heck out of my socks until I can't wear them anymore. So I don't feel too bad about doing this. Here we go. Woo! I think I only need them to be like this long, so I shouldn't need them to be that long. Okay, now for the other one. Cool, awesome. So now I just twist it like that, and then I get one piece of hair on one side, and one on the I'm other. I'm gonna go ahead and split my hair up into two, actually. I'm trying my best, okay? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Do you guys think I should wear my hair like this more often? <laughs> oh my god, I look so weird. Dude, I look so strange right now. I don't know if I have enough hair for this, honestly. But I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try my darn best. We put it through, and then we just kind of roll it into itself. Oh, I definitely don't have enough hair for this. Oh, no! <laughs> Oh, that's the best we're gonna do. I can make like a scrunchy type thing. Almost. Okay. Well, that's as good as we're gonna get. I'm gonna do the other side. Put it all in there. I'm gonna try this method. And then I guess we'll start rolling it up. Into itself. Yeah. Maybe I'll start out here. And then roll my way in. Is it working? I can't even tell. I don't think it is. It's kind of working, I guess. Uh, <laughs> oh, I look crazy. Okay, there we go. Do I look like Princess Leia yet? Okay, I, d I don't know how I feel about this one. <laughs> Oh my god. I look like freaking Cynthia from Rugrats. You guys know who I'm talking about? This person right here. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one uh, kinda works. It definitely works better if you have longer hair. For this, you'll need a lock of hair and the sound of a razor. Well, looks like Kelly's about to get a fresh cut. Press play on the sound of your phone and leave behind the lock of hair. Um, Kelly? Is that your hair? Okay guys, so here's our shaver. <laughs> I decided to use a real one instead of the app because I feel like it would be a lot more realistic. And luckily, Tori just dyed her hair black, so I'm just gonna steal one of her extensions. Oh, this is this is too perfect. Johnny will honestly never see this coming. Oh, I got you! I shaved your head. I don't even have that long of hair. I got you! What? I shaved your head, Johnny. Why? See? This was your hair. This was attached to you a second ago, and now it's not. Why would you do that? You've been pranked! This isn't real hair! This was an extension the whole time! Uh, I had no idea. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say if this one works! Hold the chopstick in the same hand as the bottle, and swiftly slam them down at the same time. <laughs> Okay guys, so here's our coat. And I don't have any chopsticks at the moment, but I do have this big old grip of pencils. So, uh, uh, cl close enough, I guess. Okay, here we go. So just grip it like this, and then you put it in like, like, uh, like that. One, two, and... Oh! Okay, try it again. One, two, and... Nope. One, two, and... Nope. Ah! I'm just messing up my pencil right now. I really need chopsticks. Where the heck are my darn chopsticks? Okay, let's go ahead and try it with this Expo marker instead. Maybe that'll work. I don't know. Oh, it's a little short. It's kind of short. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. No! Ah! I almost dropped my camera. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Ironically, this Coke bottle saved it because it was holding the tripod. Oh my gosh! We can use a screwdriver. Why didn't I think of this? Okay, guys, ready? One, two, and... It just blew the top off! And it got all over my camera! Wow! Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that uh, this one works! Time to clean off my camera. Ooh, oh no. Okay, so after some further inspection, it looks like I just broke the whole top off. Where did the top go? Is that, no. I actually don't know where the top went. So that means that there's just glass hanging out somewhere in my room. I heard it hit the ceiling. You can literally see, literally coke on the ceiling. And it also got up here too. Uh, you can't really see it so well on this one. Where did the bottle top go? Well, let's hope I don't find it with my feet. Well, it looks like I'm gonna be wearing boots in my office for a while. Okay, so after watching that footage, I actually had Tori help me find it and it was actually right on this couch this couch 
that is all the way on the other side. What the heck? That is crazy, it blew that far. Well guys, I guess we're gonna say this one works. There's even some glass still stuck inside the bottle cap. That is so crazy. Okay, so this girl gets a brand new plan for eight dollars apparently. Oh my god, big spender, am I right? Eight freaking dollars. That's that's a lot of money for a plan. I don't know. I don't know if I can afford this plan. And then she goes to water. She's like, here you go. Oh, and can we please talk about this really quick? She's getting literally no water inside this plant right now. Like, it's all falling out outside the pot. She's getting water everywhere. What are you doing? Look at her. So then she's like, wait, did I water it enough? No way. So she goes to water it even more. Yeah, that should do it. Oh, maybe. Just a little bit more water. Yeah, even more water. Yeah, that should be good. Oh, maybe water. Yeah, that should do it. Hey, you know what you did? More water. <laughs> that looks like she's peeing right there. What the heck? What is that face? What is going on here? That looks like she's peeing. Oh, God. What? Stop it. Stop it. No. Now we have, like, this weird animation of the plant, and it's like, you watered me too much, so I have to leave. It's, she's not, she's literally getting all over the thing. What are you doing? No wonder your plant wants to leave you. You're so... So dumb. Stop it. Look how overflowing that plant is. This activity performed by actors in a controlled environment. Please use caution if you plan to replicate. Oh, I'll use caution when I replicate. Trust me. Although why, what, I'm so confused. Why do I need to use caution when I water a plant? <laughs> what? <laughs> why is this even needed? I don't understand. So you wanna hear the solution? All you need is a soap with a little hand pump and then make sure it's completely clean. No soap can be in there. Then you cut it in half, make a little mark where you're gonna uh, cut out the hole for the hand pump. Then you go ahead and cut it out. Look how smooth that was. Wow. Then you put your water in, inside of it like that. Flip the top over and put it inside. Then you just stick your little hand pump inside the, the, the water spigot. Put a rubber band over that to hold it all together. And then you put your plant inside of it. Now, whenever you need to water your plant, you, all the water just goes back down inside. Just recycles the same water all the time. It's perfect. Look how happy this plant is now. This one's kind of crazy. So crazy, it just might work work. <laughs> Okay guys, so here's our soap dispenser. We're gonna go ahead and cut it in half. Take this guy out. There we go. Does it fit in there? I mean, it's good enough. Yeah, I think I should have given it a little bit more room for the plant, but I'm sure it's fine. Let me go ahead and cut a little hole right here. I'm gonna go ahead and use my trusty X-Acto knife. Does it fit? Perfect. Yeah, it looks good. I need water. I really need to get a bottle of water or something. Oh, I don't think I, I cleaned all the soap out. <laughs> oh. Yeah, there we go. Of course, we can't forget a plant. Yes. Perfect. Okay, I know it's not a real plant, but I don't have any real plants. Ugh. Okay, put this back in here. So far, yeah, this is looking uh, pretty legit. You guys ready to see if it works? And a one, and a two, and... <laughs> Went a little too far. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. I don't like how it's squirting so far. Uh, I don't know what to do. Maybe if I do it really... It goes so far! Maybe if I do it like that? This is very impractical. Maybe this thing has to be a little shorter. No! What have I done? Everything I touch gets ruined. Okay, yeah, maybe this will work. You guys ready? Uh, if I just hold my hand this way. Oh, God. Yeah, it kind of works. Yeah, I don't think this actually works. I'm gonna go ahead and give this hack a uh, 3 out of 10. Would not recommend. Oh, okay. Okay guys, so here's our Pringles can. Ugh, don't need this anymore. And for the background, I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this blue. It's gonna take how big it is right here. Kinda, you know, it's gonna average this out. Did it work? Did I get the right size? I think I did. Whoa, it's freaking really close to being perfect. You know what? That's pretty good. That's not bad. I'm pretty happy with that. Maybe just cut a little bit off the bottom. Oh. So I guess I'm just gonna use maybe some of this purple. Get out of here. Okay, but first we're gonna cut this so that it's even. Take out our trusty scissors, Let's take our knife, start cutting off the extra. You've got this. Knife, scissors. <laughs> Did I call these a knife earlier? This isn't a knife. I guess these are two knives. It's a set of knives. They're scissors. What were scissors invented? I don't have my phone. I don't know. <laughs> oh! So we're just gonna go ahead and use this pink tape to seal this bad boy. But first, there we go. 
Go ahead and tape it on. And this looks great. Wonderful. Now that we have this, go ahead and break out our glue gun. Now for my favorite part of using a glue gun. Waiting for it to heat up. <sighs> Okay, so while we're waiting for this bad boy to heat up, I put a poll up on my channel asking if you guys would be interested in having a little office tour. So here's a real quick office tour for you guys. Are you ready? Oh my gosh, I'm kinda dizzy right now. So where should we begin? Um, hmm. Let's start top down. This is my craft corner sign. I made it portable when, you know, we went inside the box. My first YouTube play button, my second YouTube play button, my third YouTube play button, my little play button I got for attending a YouTube Space LA class. Class. My DIY 1 million subscriber play button. I actually made this one because YouTube uh, said I might not get a million subscriber play button, but I did. This was my very first laptop. I still keep the, the shell of it. It's actually just a shell. Everything is gutted out of it. My random assortment of things that I keep right next to my desk. What? I'm not an object, Robbie! Underneath that, we have all these milk crates. I literally have a dedicated drawer for spray paint. I wanna do more spray painting stuff. If you guys have any suggestions for what I should do, uh, leave me a comment down below. This is my trash can. I have it tucked away because Benji always liked to get into it, and if I put it like this, he couldn't get into it. This is my makeup drawer, some random tool parts, my fasteners, glue markers like craft supplies, and then I have all of these. Beauty stuff, fabrics, I have one dedicated to all my candy that I've used in videos, candles, random stuff, just a drawer of random stuff. Ooh, these look fun. On top of that, we got Mr. Skeleton. This is where I put my hat when I'm not wearing it. Another Mr. Skeleton head. A glass jar skeleton hat. This is one of my favorite craft projects I've done. It's like a bunch of crayons that you melt down onto a lamp, and then I put a colored bulb in there. Really fun, really enjoy this one. Coca-Cola bottle candle. Uh, it's a little messy, but you know, I think it look pretty good. Giant Kit Kat. Pizza you guys saw earlier. Fire extinguisher. My ukulele that Peace Tea gave to me. You guys don't know this, but I actually have a hidden fan that I opened Open this up. I turn on with a button whenever it gets hot in here because I have a lot of lights. Right next to that we have the portable craft corner which leads to nothing right now. My little peephole that I open to see who's here. Hey, who's there? Some more storage bins. This is where I keep like my pots and pans. And then next to that I have my little laptop that I use that's hooked up to here. And then I have another monitor over here. A bunch of random camera supplies. I have a gimbal. I have two drones. I keep all the boxes for my cameras and stuff. Um, uh, just just because all my hot glue stuff. Of course we got the craft corner This is where the magic happens, you know, this is the mount that I just placed my camera on it's permanently there That's why the shot is always the same my lights that are all adjustable and they're all on like audio arms So I can put them in any position. Oh, no I also have like these holes drilled so that I can just take them out put them in really easy. They're really fun They're also all on these uh, Joby gorilla pod heads that I can just take off really easily I have just a little gorilla pod foot that just slide, you know, my camera, just my lights, anything. I could just interchange anything. And then we go down here, and now I have a little keyboard that goes to my computer screens. Pull that up, and I just got all my stuff in there. I have this little mouse pad that I just kind of taped on here. I have to put it up here, though, because it doesn't fit when I close it. Where I keep my extra lights, my extra camera gear, uh, my snack drawer, a little barren right now, extra camera gear, and I have a little battery charging station right here uh, built into the Drawer. I really like this toolbox. It's like my favorite. I just put on these strips today. Keep my monster there. That way I don't spill it when I'm doing stuff. Close that. Yeah, that's basically my whole freaking craft corner. Is this hot? You better be hot by now. Oh, you are good. Anyway, that was just a quick little tour of my craft corner. If you guys liked it. Uh, <laughs> so now that this is hot, we're just gonna go ahead and take our suction cups and we're just gonna go ahead and glue them on there. Real easy. One right there ought to do it. And one right there. Just dab that on. Okay, awesome. Now I just gotta let that cool down. Yeah, this looks pretty freaking good. Let's try it out. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and stick this thing on there. Oh no, it's upside down. <laughs> I feel like I need to get these wet first. Oh, perfect. And we're gonna go ahead and take our hair dryer. Put it in there. It holds it. Well guys, I guess we can say this one freaking works. I might move it down a little bit though. Oh, that's way better. Now I can just keep it plugged in. Even though I don't think you're supposed to do that. Yeah, neat idea. I, I appreciate the concept. Dude, I could just put my pens in there. 
Dang, I like this this application for it a lot better. Highly recommend. Dude, awesome. This calls for the bottle flip challenge. Some guys get it right on the first try. There's a secret ingredient, baking soda. Pour a tablespoon. Yes! Woo! Okay, guys, so first we're gonna try the bottle flip challenge. Man, what is this, freaking mid-2018? <laughs> okay, first try, we're gonna see if I can do it without the salt in the bottle, ready? One, two. Nope, I'm gonna try it a few more times until I get it. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, ah! Woo, that one was close. Nope, ah! No. <laughs> we just have too much water. Okay, I have a little bit less water this time. Ah! Oh, it landed, but it didn't stay. Ah! Maybe if I do less rotation. Nope. Okay. I did it! I was literally about to quit. Oh my god. So I don't know how many tries exactly that was, but it was a lot, and <laughs> let's see if adding salt to the water makes it any easier. I don't know how much to add. They didn't really say, but I'm just gonna add a lot. Oh my gosh, that's so that's so full. I'm assuming we shake it up. Oh, that feels so much heavier for some reason. Okay, cool. Try this again. Ready? Watch, I'm gonna get it on the first try. Does that feel so, that's so heavy? One, two. Ah! It's not staying. Ah! Ah! Oh my gosh, that took so long. First one out of like 15 tries. I don't think that this is much better. Let's see, if I get it this time, I'll say it's better. One, two, ah. Uh. Okay. So overall, guys, uh, salt inside the water bottle doesn't really make it that much easier, but I guess it makes it a little bit easier. So I guess we're gonna have to say that this one kind of works, I guess. <laughs> Unconclusive. Acrylic nails are so hard to use. You can't even open soda cans with them. Oh no, she broke one. That's not good. So she has a friend go ahead and open it for her. Oh my God, the soda exploded. Well, good thing you opened that for me. Thank you so much. She's like, hey, I have a challenge. You have to do a hundred layers. Oh my God, that that is so many nails. That is so many acrylic nails. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, five piles of nails. That's so many nails. What you're gonna wanna do is get some nail glue and just start uh, gluing more and more nails on. Oh, she's having problems picking them up. Poor thing. Oh no. <laughs> she's like, don't worry, I'll help you. So that's a one layer of nail. That's a two layer of nail. Wait, are they just doing a hundred nails? I thought we were doing a hundred layers of nails. So I was gonna do a hundred layers on each nail. Oh my gosh, this makes it so much easier. Okay, yeah, that should work. Wow, that's a lot of nails. <laughs> that's great. Oh, my hand is so heavy. I don't know how I can lift my poor hand. Okay, next hand. And just do the same thing. I'm only doing one hand. Anyway, let's do this. Okay, guys, so I'm actually really lazy, so I'm gonna have my PA cut up all these nails because I was too cheap to <laughs> just buy a, a hundred sets of uh, pre-cut nails. Anyway, new intern's gonna be cutting them into three. Thanks. I'll see you in a bit. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, now that all these are made, oh my gosh, that saved me so much time. Oh, this one's empty. Yeah, these turned out pretty good. Well, I mean, <laughs> they turned out uh, good, I guess. Uh, okay, so now I'm gonna be uh, doing my left hand, that way I can still do stuff with my right. So, yeah. <laughs> so here's our nail glue. Boop, boop. Pour some out right here. Okay, go ahead and start off with the thumb. Oh, these nails, these nails are way too small for me. Hold that on for a sec. Okay, it doesn't want to stick on, so I guess I need more glue maybe. Just cover it in nail glue. I'm just hoping I don't regret my life decisions. Oh, oh that feels so weird, but it's sticking on. And that's all that matters. Okay, on to the next one. First French manicure is complete. Oh my god, I look so witchy right now. Like my hands just look like witchy fingers. Oh, that's so weird. First layer down, a uh, hundred more to go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, let's do this.
Okay, so I got really tired, so the new intern's helping me, and oh my god, these are so long. Oh, uh, which ones did he do? I don't know. <laughs> he went more for like a height, whereas I went for more, I went for more of like a length. See? Like mine are longer and yours are you're taller. Anyway, we got two time lapses. Look, okay. Guys, I actually have a problem. My hand is glued to the table. Dude, oh, 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 oh just one finger, just one finger. Oh, oh, oh my god it's beautiful in cases like this i would slam my hand into frame but uh i don't want to break these off these are intense she was not lying when she said they were heavy like i don't think i could do anything with this much nail on me they're like mountains oh my gosh whoa anyway challenge complete Okay, so you're trying to hack into your roommate's phone, but it just doesn't work. You, your face isn't the same as theirs, so it doesn't unlock it. But you have a plan. Just go into your files and get a photo of your friend. Make sure the photo is nice and clear, and just use that baby to unlock the phone. And boom, bam, you should be inside there talking to their fam. Oh, that's a little weird. I don't condone spying on people. That is not okay. But if you want to do it, well, I'm going to test it right now and see if it actually works. Let's Let's do it. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna try and unlock my phone using a picture of my face. So right now, uh, I have it so that it will automatically unlock when I'm looking at it. Boom, bam, looks good. So unfortunately, I don't have a picture of my face on hand, so I'm just gonna have to rely on Google. Ooh, which one should we use? That's definitely not me. This one's a classic, uh, I'm gonna try that. So as you can see, my phone is locked. Let's see if it'll recognize my face. Come on. <gasps> Oh, I think it tried. Okay, here we go. Come on. Oh. It's not recognizing my face. Okay, we'll try a different one. How about, uh, how about one of these? Here we go, that's my face, that's a good one. Yeah, that worked. Oh, rejected again. This one's a bit of an older photo of me, but uh, I feel like it might work. Yeah? Hey, can you unlock this for me really quick? Oh, that's not, that's not working at all. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Well guys, it turns out the intern didn't really like the last prank. So we're gonna try another one on him and maybe that will lighten him up, okay? The classic bubble gum replaced with Play-Doh trick. One, two, three, go. Five minute crafts, crafty panda. All of the greats have done this one. Just simply take out the bubble gum. Ooh, that's a good looking piece of bubble gum. I'm saving this one for me. No need to waste perfectly good bubble gum. Put the wrapper off to the side, break out our Play-Doh. Oh, wow, this looks even more delicious than bubble gum. I have to cut it into a small bubble gum sized piece. I'm gonna use my ax. Perfect. Now the other side. Now that looks like an appetizing piece of bubble gum. Put that right in there. God, look at that fat piece of bubble gum. And then simply put it back into the package. This looks pretty convincing. Let's go try it out on the intern. Oh, hey intern. Oh, hi Robbie. How's it going? It's good. Are you chewing gum? Yes, I am. Uh, it's very tasty. Would you like some? Yeah, I'll do anything for one. Anything, huh? <laughs> yeah, can I have one? I'll, I'll trade you some, I don't know. Maybe I'll trade me. I'll give you this pen? How about the whole tablet? <laughs> yeah, I'll give you the whole tablet. Perfect, okay, well, here's the gum. Um, well, here, just one piece, actually. <laughs> just one piece, I'm giving you my whole tablet. Yeah, it's very good gum. Um, and then I get your tablet. Cool, thank you very much. Um, this is, uh, just put that right there. That's mine now. Um, please, uh, enjoy your gum. All right. Whoa, this looks like it has so much flavor in it. Yeah, it's very, very colorful. <laughs> <laughs> You've been pranked! It's Play-Doh! You ate Play-Doh. Robbie, why? I can't believe you traded me your your oh, freaking tablet bro. for Play-Doh. Come on, what a Robbie. What a chump! Give me, listen, listen, I'll, I'll, I'll do anything for another piece, for a real piece of gum. I'll literally eat the one out of your mouth. I'll do anything. Wait, Give me a real wait, 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 wait. Do you want it out of my mouth? <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I'll literally do anything. I'll literally, I just want a piece of gum. I'll eat that one. You're ridiculous. You'll eat this piece of gum that I've been chewing on for hours. Well, intern, you're in luck. You can have this piece of gum that was out of my mouth. I got it. Got it. Anyway, this one works. See these noodles? They look harmless, right? Stick them in between your teeth 
and watch. Now make your friend give you a stretch and bite down hard. <gasps> Don't worry, Vicky. You didn't break your bestie's back. Okay, guys, so here are our noodles. Ow! Oh, that kind of hurt. Ow! Be careful when you put dry noodles in your mouth. Okay, let's try this. Hey, Johnny! Can you help crack my back? It hurts so bad. Okay. I just need you to... Oh, oh my god, that felt so good. Can you do it again? Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, oh my bad. Oh, 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 Johnny, you've destroyed me. I can never walk the same again. Was that a prank? You were a prank. What? It was noodles the whole time. That was scary. I felt it <laughs> vibrate everything. I was like, Ugh. I got you. Uh... Okay, guys, well, I guess we're going to have to say this one works. This sneaky prank involves a blow dryer that will deliver a, a brand new hairstyle. Get your hands on some nearby baby powder and lightly sprinkle some into the blow dryer. Now put the cap back on and wait for the magic to happen. Looks like Helly is ready to dry off her hair. Baby powder right in the face. Okay, so for this one, I'm not actually sure if it's safe. So one thing really uh, crossed my mind when I saw this. Did you know that if you put flour and you just like make a big burst of it and then light it on fire, it will make a giant explosion? Yeah, isn't that pretty freaking scary? So I wanted to do some research before I actually did this. That way I don't like, you know, light Johnny on fire or something. Anyway, I came across this article where a guy tries it on his wife and the hairdryer literally lit on fire. <laughs> so long story short, I don't think I should do this one. Anyway, baby powder and flour are both very flammable when you add a lot of oxygen to it, so definitely don't do that. Don't try this at home, okay? If your friend falls asleep, grab their phone and trade it out for a shoe. Wake up, Maya, it's for you. Um, hello? Ha, <laughs> there's no one there, Maya. <laughs> Didn't expect that to actually happen. The perfect time to pull an epic prank on Mrs. Appleby. She's not even gonna realize her mug of coffee is upside down. Ooh, that coffee is going everywhere. Okay guys, so every morning, Chris makes himself a fresh pot of coffee and he's doing it right now. So this gives us the perfect opportunity. Pretty legit, actually. You have to look really close to really see the paper that I just freaking tore away. <laughs> okay, now it's time to hide. Oh, 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 what the heck? You've been praying! Dude, are you kidding me? Why would you do that? Dude, first thing in the morning. Good first... morning, Chris! Uh, it's kind of like... A thing you're not supposed to mess with people's coffee. Like I literally only made enough for me. Chris! Oh my gosh, dude. Chris, we literally have like 20 freaking things of monster right here, dude. Why are you drinking coffee? I can already tell it's gonna be a long day. I'm not cleaning that up. Oh man. Dang it. Oh yes, yeah, so this is a classic hack that everyone should know. All you gotta do is get a vacuum, get your scrunchie, put your hair down, and then let that vacuum suck your hair right up into the hose. <laughs> and then when you're done, just slide your scrunchie on and boom! Instant ponytail. For some reason, I've seen this one all over and I haven't tried it yet. It looks like today is the day. What is going on with my hair? I need to fix this. 
Why don't I brush my hair? I look so much better. I'm brushing my hair from now on. Get our vacuum. Get that vacuum hose. There we go. Boo -ba -da -boo. Okay. Then we go ahead and grab our scrunch. Just slide it right on there. Boo -ba -da -boo. All I gotta do is put my hair down. Maybe I shouldn't have used an industrial shot vac. Okay, we're gonna try it again. Oh, then we're just gonna slide it out. Oh, what an adventure. <laughs> it definitely sucked it up really fast. If my hair was long enough on the sides, I'm sure it would have probably worked. Anyway, it looks like it got pretty much all my hair. This is uh, definitely the fastest way to give yourself a ponytail. I mean, besides the whole setting up the vacuum thing. But if you use it every day, why not just keep the vacuum set up like that? Anyway, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. This hat can prevent you from having some seriously nasty falls. Simply loop through some stretchy bungee rope like this on either side of the vacuum. Once they're secure, stick your arms through and wear the thing like a real backpack. Now you won't have to leave behind any hazardous tubes as you go. So here's our vacuum. It's a little dark in here, so let me just uh, lighten things up a little bit. Perfect. Okay, so as you can see, vacuum, a little bit big. But that's fine. The bigger the better. That's what they always say, right? No, everything's fine. There's our rope. This is it. This is the only rope we're gonna get. Now I just have to somehow make this thing into a backpack. I know I'm gonna feel this in the morning. Where the heck are my scissors? Where the heck are my scissors? Tori Dabransky. You threw my scissors into my room? That is so... Tori, you don't throw scissors. That's dangerous. Missy, come back here. <laughs> don't be throwing scissors. <laughs> That's so dangerous. Why would she ever do that? <laughs> okay, we got our scissors. We got our rope. What else, what else would, could you need? So, uh, where the heck am I gonna attach myself to this thing? Maybe like on the side right here. So let's go and maybe attach to this wheel. A simple uh, two half hitches, just like I learned in Boy Scouts. Yes, there we go. Perfect. And then we go up and maybe tie it to this handle right here. There we go. Tie it to the handle. Yes. And we just do the same to the other side. Maybe I'll like make a stopping point for my back so my shoulders won't like go all the way up here. I'm not sure how well this is gonna work. Ooh, okay, now time to try this thing on. But first I need to plug it in. And it totally messed up because the wire is underneath it. So I have to untie this now. <laughs> I'm such a smart guy. Okay, I fixed my little problem. Plug this bad boy in. Now let's finally try this guy on. I'm just hoping that I don't throw out my back. Okay. Ah! Okay, I wasn't ready for that. So we just uh, get into it like this. Yes, we're good. Okay, now I need the hose. Perfect. Now I need to turn it on. The button's right there. Okay, maybe I can just. Perfect. Yes. I'm the ultimate cleaning machine. This one's the ultimate life hack. Hey, Mr. Smith left his laptop. Let's break him with a copy machine. Why isn't anything changing on my screen? A fake screen? Yep. Okay guys, so Chris actually has a pretty big screen. So in order for me to actually print the whole thing out, I would have to somehow print it out in pieces. And that sounds way too complicated. So instead of going and printing it all out, I'm just gonna go ahead and give him the blue screen of death. Okay guys, so first I have to wait for Chris to go into the bathroom. I think he's going. And we're good. Damn, you can really hear him. He's going freaking hard, dude. I'm gonna steal this. Chris's. Don't need this anymore. I forgot the tape. I have to hurry up. Okay, so I'm actually gonna add another level to this prank. I'm like a broken screen. Yes, that looks like a broken screen. Perfect. I'm gonna put this on, just like that. I need tape. Okay, and I think we're good. Okay, now we gotta get out of here before Chris is done going to the bathroom. Oh, hey Chris, how's it going, dude? Oh my God, your, your computer, it's blue screening. What? Oh my, Chris. Oh my 
god, your computer's blue screening. Why did you- Oh, no! Oh, my oh, god, your monitor's broken! Hey, two. Dude, I'm so sorry! Dude, oh, my god! I meant to just did tuck it really? into the computer! Did you really break my screen just and then to... just cover it up? No, I, I tried to cover it up with the blue, but, dude! dude what the heck? Are you freaking oh, kidding me? Dude, I'm so- Bro. No, I just- I Bro! Just tuck it into the screen right dude. now? Yeah, I didn't do that on purpose, I'm sorry, I'll how can, the screen. How can I work? Chris! I'm Dude, sorry. I was working on your video. I was editing your video. Now we can't. Dude, this is my screen. I have stuff. I have. You covered it up with this? Uh, yeah, I was just playing. The blue I'm sorry. This, oh Chris, I didn't God, mean dude. to. I didn't mean to break your screen. Really? But how did, how did this happen? Don't worry. I can. I think I know an escape. Wow. I got you! Wow, Riley. Wow. Good one. That's a good one. It's a freak. Here, take your blue screen. Yeah, I have some real work to do. Nah, mess around. All right, see ya. I gotta work. Okay. Guys, I think we made Chris mad. <laughs> I got you! Mm, sure did. You forgot your tape. Oh, oh, oh God. So apparently, if you put some soap on your mouth and then blow bubbles, you can just blow bubbles. Wow. That's a lot of bubbles. But does it work? Let's try it. So here's our dish soap. Just, uh, there we go. Ooh. I'm gonna wet my lips a little bit. You ready? Okay. Ugh. I just got that all over my, my computer screen right here. Let's see, maybe more soap? I mean, we got little bubbles, so it, it kind of worked so far. I just need a different camera angle for this to work. Okay, boys, here we go. <laughs> oh. Oh! Oh! I'm getting really, I'm getting really drooly here. Oh! <gasps> They did a bunch of bubbles. That was really cool. When you do this, whatever you do, actually, I don't think you should do this. <laughs> but regardless, I feel like you're gonna do it anyway. You're gonna try this anyway. If you do, don't get the soap in your mouth. I'm sure dog dish soap is great for little ducks, but it's not great for your insides, okay? Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one kinda works. I would give it a solid uh, six out of 10. If I was good at it right off the bat, I would have given it a 10 out of 10, but uh, I'm not, so take that. Be easier next time, life hack. Simply drape the plastic bag over the upside down table legs. This way, you can prolong your chore of taking out the trash just a little bit longer. Here's our stool. There's our trash bag. Okay, we just gotta flip this bad boy over. I feel like this is actually the perfect shape for a trash can. Put that in there. Wow, that actually worked very well. Now I just need to find some trash to put in it. I have the perfect idea. Here we go. I just need to fit inside of here. And that's the ultimate trash can. Well, it's good enough. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. Oh! For this prank, take an aloe vera leaf, scoop out the clear goo with your fingers. Achoo! Hey, Amy, you want your marker back? Ew, look at all that goo. Okay guys, so this is actually the perfect prank right now because I told Chris that I was gonna let him borrow my camera But little does he know I'm gonna be pulling a little prank on him So I don't actually have any aloe vera at the moment, but I do have this little jar of slime So I'm just gonna take a, a little scoop out of there and then before I hand him the camera I'm gonna pretend to sneeze on it and then I'll put the slime right on you just like that Okay, let's go test this out on Chris Oh hair Jordan Oh, hey, uh, you, uh, here's that camera that you wanted to borrow from me since, uh, you know, you broke yours. I don't need this anymore. Oh, yeah, thanks. Uh, yeah, no, no pro- uh, 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 <laughs> Oh, God. Dude. Oh, hey, yeah, here you go, dude. Just, uh... Dude. Yeah. Dude. This is all slimy. Don't you know everyone's, like, sick right now? You need a mask, dude. You need to what? put a mask on. And then you need to take this camera back and clean it. I believe I just touched that, dude. There's, like, snot all over the place. What the heck is this? Why am I even touching this? Dude! Ugh. Wait, why did you touch that? my snot? I don't know! That's my snot! Know. It's sick Chris, now! You I'm my gonna my get snot. sick now! That's disgusting! Why are you hot? on your chest! Yes. So Oh my gosh, I can't believe you just did that. You sneezed on your own stuff. Chris! What? It's a prank! I didn't sneeze at all! That was slime! 
Oh, that's a good one. That was a real snot. You've been pranked! Can I still borrow the camera? No, I'll see you later. Wait, oh, really? Okay, so for this one, we're gonna make these little tadpoles swim. All you gotta do is get a dry erase marker and put it in your sink. And boom, when you turn on the water, they all just swim right down the drain. Finally, now you don't have to try this with real goldfish. Okay, so first thing we're gonna need are some markers. Okay, and a boom, and a boom. Oh, that's, that's probably good for it. And then here's our bathroom. Yes, I know, my sink is so disgusting. Ugh, ugh. Oh my god, what? What is that? <laughs> I should do another video where I just clean my bathroom for an hour. I know you guys love that last one that I did, so if you guys roast me enough, I might just do it. Okay, so uh, here we go. Let's draw a little, uh, little tadpole. Oh god, it won't even stick. Oh, oh no. It doesn't even want to stick to the, the thing because it's so dirty. If this doesn't work, I should definitely clean my sink a little bit. Oh man. Yep, this is uh, this is pretty gross. And here we go. Yeah, that's not that's not working at all. Maybe I have to clog the drain. Maybe that'll help. Uh, they're not swimming around. These tadpoles are dead. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. While it may not be the safest idea, you can keep the bag from filling with air by putting it on your head first. Just another great life hack to help you take it easy throughout the day. Okay, guys, so this one is definitely not safe, and I definitely recommend not doing this one. And that's exactly why I'm gonna get a spotter. Tori Nebraska! Come here! I want to show you a really uh, special life hack. Okay, Tori, so this is the easiest way to put a bag inside a trash can. You ready? Yes. 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 Why didn't we think of that before? I am so shocked. <laughs> Did you like it? That was great, Robbie. I'm, I mostly just wanted to have you here. That way I didn't you know, <laughs> suffocate <yourself>. myself. <laughs> I didn't want to suffocate myself. I think your technique could be worked on because you did miss these little Gatorade handles that you glued onto it. Other than that, I think I'm going to go ahead and say that this one works. You just hit one of your lights? You've been life hacked. <laughs> Thanks, Tori. Safety first. Print out a large picture of you in a pair of glasses like this one. Next, stick those suckers right onto your actual specs. Pop on a pair of these bad boys and head off to dreamland. Woo! Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna need to do is take a photo of my eyes. Here we go, maybe just like... Yeah, that ought to do it. Okay, I went ahead and cropped out the rest of my face. And file print. Boobity boop. Okay, please work, please work, please work, please work. Thank you! Okay, does this look about actual size? No, I need to go smaller. File print. Okay, so before, after. Yeah, that seems a little bit more appropriately sized. Okay. Perfect. Here are the glasses we're gonna be using. Oh, I look so weird right there. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> okay, so about that big. Oh, that's perfect, actually. Maybe if I flip it like that, outline my eyes. Oh, there we go. Dude, this looks kind of weird. Okay, so we got our rough outline of my eyes. Cut those out really quick. Oh, dude, this is so weird. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> now I just gotta tape these bad boys on. There we go. Perfect, let's try these bad boys on. Woo! Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, I don't actually see myself right now, but I'm assuming it's hilarious. I'm gonna take a selfie really quick so I can see myself. Oh, this already looks really weird. Okay, and how'd that turn out? Oh no! Dude, I look so wacky. My eyes are so crooked. <laughs> Dude, that is so funny, actually. Okay, I think Chris might fall for it. Okay, now it's time to go watch that boring movie with Chris. Okay, so Chris wants to watch the Scoob movie, but I've already watched it like six times, so I'm probably gonna fall asleep. But luckily, he doesn't know that. Oh, yeah. Okay. You ready, dude? Yeah, dude, I'm so stoked for this Me too. Scoob movie. I'm so excited. You haven't seen this yet? No, and you uh, haven't either, right? No. Perfect. Cool. Yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to make you rewatch something you already. Yeah. Seen. Uh, <laughs> let me just put on my new glasses. It's my new prescription. Perfect. I'm all good for this movie. Yeah. Bro, that does make your eyes look really big. <laughs> yeah. It's a prescription. I didn't know you wore glasses. Yeah, that's a new thing. 
We don't have to watch the movie. Hey. <laughs> what are you doing? Dude, what the heck? What? Are, come on, are you serious? <laughs> yes! What the heck? I've already seen this are movie five times! What? I don't want to watch it with you! You've been pranked! What? Why? You could just say you don't want to watch it. Yes. I don't want to watch your darn dirty movie, okay? Is it dirty? <laughs> Tell me now, you said you've seen it. <laughs> so I'm, go. I'm watching this alone now? Yeah, watch this alone, I'll see you later. Okay, bye. Grab the Nutella you've hidden in the bathroom cupboard. Grab a glob of it and hold it on your finger. Now it's showtime. Okay, here you go. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Is this your poop on me? Okay guys, so I'm in the downstairs bathroom right now and uh, here's our Nutella. Now all I gotta do is call Johnny Gilbert. Oh, Johnny Gilbert! Oh, Johnny, I, I seem to have forgotten uh, the toilet paper. Can you grab me some toilet paper? Oh, okay, I'll get you some. Yes, thank you so much. Yes. Okay, yes, perfect. Johnny, where's the toilet paper? I need the toilet. Can you hand it to me? Door? Yeah, open the door and hand me the hand me the toilet paper. Oh, okay. Oh, thanks, Johnny. Oh, that's really gross. <laughs> oh, thank that's you so gross. much. I really needed it. Oh my god, that's so gross. D Johnny, thank you so much. Ew. You've been pranked! I had toilet paper the whole time! Is, it, is this still poop? <laughs> yes. What are you eating? This smells pretty good. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's Nutella! You've been pranked! Double pranked! Oh, it's Nutella? That's disgusting! This is way worse now. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say this one works! Okay guys, hear me out. A hundred layers of scrunchies. Just a hundred scrunchies just all over your hair. How many can she do? How many can I do? That's gonna, That's gonna be the real question. 44! Oh my gosh. Whoa, it's so long! Whoa, look how tall her hair is getting! She can't Touch the top of it. Wow. Oh, that's just gonna use a stool to try and to do the rest of it. Luckily, my hair isn't this long. Uh, otherwise, I would probably have a little bit of trouble. But I think I can handle this one. Let's do it. Okay, so here are 100 hair ties. It's actually uh, 42, 42, and 42. So that's uh, 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 that's more than 100. Way more than 100. At least by 30. I can math. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Oh. You guys are gonna see me with the weirdest hairstyle I've probably ever had. Actually, I'm switching shirt. Cause I know for a fact I'm gonna want to take the thumbnail and I'm not gonna be able to take it off because my hair is gonna be too crazy. Anyway, here we go. And I'm just gonna do multiple. I'm just gonna do Liberty Spikes with my hair, I think. Here we go. Okay, so I'm about a quarter way there, and I have one rainbow spike. Oh, that is wonderful, actually. 10 out of 10 would recommend rainbow spike. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side, maybe. That, that would be fun. Oh, yes, now I have perfect antlers. I don't know how to describe this. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny cuz like I'm so close. This is 50 on my head So I guess I mean I have to do these I'm running out of hair like okay. I guess I'll do this side now oh, And uh, yeah, that's that's about 100 hair ties look at my stupid little ponytail. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so uh <laughs> Challenge complete. Let's bring on the next one. Do you have a problem hiding your candy? You don't know where to put it. You put it underneath the couch cushions? Yeah, it'll be safe there. But no, it won't. Your roommate just goes and they can sniff it out. Your candy's right there and they they snatched it. They're, they are snack thieves. Those are the worst, am I right? Well, here's what you can do. You get a mayonnaise jar, take all the gross stuff out. Uh, mayonnaise is disgusting and I hate it. And uh, if you like mayonnaise, we can't be friends. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. If you like mayonnaise, it's fine, but I, I don't like it. <laughs> Take the mayonnaise out, then just spray paint the inside white. Just like that. And there you go, perfectly good candy stash. Now when your roommate goes looking, they're not gonna suspect a thing. They're just gonna see gross mayonnaise. It's the perfect plan. Let's try it. Okay guys, I guess uh, it's mayo time. So the first thing I gotta do is uh, empty this guy out. I think I'm gonna puke doing this. Okay, uh, here we go. Everyone who likes mayonnaise is about to be really mad at me. Ugh. Oh god. Flush that down. Oh no. Please don't clog. Please don't clog. Please don't clog. This is so disgusting. Oh my god. It totally clogged the toilet. Oh f Well, might as well get the rest out. I can't believe mayonnaise clogs my toilet. This is so disgusting. Go ahead and rinse the rest of it out, I guess. Oh, I got some on my hand. Oh. 
shake, shake, shake. Uh, and his water is leaking out. Ew. So in order to try and get the smell out, I'm gonna go ahead and put some mouthwash in there. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, so much better. Okay, so now that that is nice and cleaned out, wow, that looks really good now, actually. We're gonna go ahead and take our white spray paint and just uh, spray it all in there. Okay, yeah, that looks uh, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry, and then uh, we'll see if we can actually put candy in this. I don't think we can, but there might be a slim chance it'll happen. Okay, so it's the next day, and I let our mayo jar dry, and it doesn't look like the paint really uh, stuck very well. I don't know if it's just like the type of spray paint I used, or if I need to like sand the inside of it or something, but as it stands right now, I don't think that uh, paint actually sticks to the inside of like jars. It kind of did here. Maybe I just got dud paint. Anyway, it's time for the moment of truth. Will these Skittles fit inside the mayo jar? Oh my god, what? I can hide my snacks in here. I am so surprised. <laughs> but does the lid go on? What? Oh, wh oh my gosh. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. <laughs> Okay, intern, are you ready to see this fun experiment? You don't have an experiment for me. Why don't you believe me? It's really hard. You say a lot of things, Robbie. Oh, I'm being doubtful of my experiment. Anyway, uh, t I promise you that this one will work. So the first thing we're gonna need is a plate. That is not a plate. And we get some ketchup. That's not ketchup. Really? You don't believe me? Taste it, taste it right now. And then we grab some salt. That is not salt. Well, okay, okay, why do you keep doing this? <laughs> <laughs> then you just uh, sprinkle the salt all over the ketchup. You are not sprinkling the shit. <laughs> Stop, okay? Oh my gosh, it's getting so hot. Oh, wow. No way, I don't believe you. Look, feel how hot it is. All right. Dude! <laughs> you You did not just do this. You did not just put my hand in ketchup. I seeing this right now. I am not seeing you did not just do this. Are you okay? Oh my god. This did not just happen. This did not just happen. Oh my god. Somehow I didn't get any on me. This is pretty cool. Anyway, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. Have two apples and a quarter. Stab it into the side of the apple. Really push it in there. Rub the apples against each other. Now rest a butter knife on top and stab it in the apple like so. Now it's time to plug in your phone. Okay, guys, so first I'm gonna start off with some homegrown apples. Yeah, I grew these puppies in my backyard. Turned out pretty, oh, oh man, I, oh, I left a sticker on it. Uh, organic, locally grown apples, you know? Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't actually grow these in my backyard. But look how big these things are. I think that the bigger the apple, the more energy output they have. So, let's go ahead and test that theory. So it looks like they used to, uh, I'm not sure what those are, I think they're quarters. So, uh, that's what I'm gonna go ahead and use. We just put one in, just like that. Oh, I messed up already. Yeah, perfect. Now the next one. Haha. -ha. Yes. Then they went ahead and got a butter knife and just put it right on top of the apples like that. Then they went ahead and got their charger and just plugged it into the apple. I mean, they used it a European charger. I'm sure it's like not any different with an American charger. But here we go. You ready? Plug it in. Three. Two, there we go. I don't think it's charging. Maybe if I put them closer together. It's not working! Uh, oh my gosh, I don't know. Well guys, I guess what I have to say is this one doesn't work. I was so excited to charge my phone with apples. My whole life is a lie! How could you do this to me, one, two, three, go? Okay, so up next, we're gonna try and do 100 layers of plastic cups. So many cups! There's cups everywhere! Oh gosh, this is gonna take so long. I can already tell I'm gonna knock this thing down so many times. I'm gonna get so frustrated. Oh, I can't wait! I, it's gonna be awesome! So many cups! She's like, hey, you want a stool? Luckily, I have a stool that I found on the side of the road. This is what I'm gonna be using. And, oh no, she knocked the cups down! That's about to be me. What? I can already tell. I'm gonna knock all of them down at least five times. I'm gonna be real mad. Okay, let's do it. So here are our cups. This is actually 360 cups. So this is only 100. I feel like that's not enough. I think we need to outdo them a little bit, guys. So we're gonna go for 200. Uh, if we get past 200, I'll see how I'm feeling. I'll do 300. Uh, 
Ooh, now it is very bright. As every journey starts with a single step, I will start with a single cup. Oh wait, that's a... A single cup. Oh, whoa. Well, let's hope I don't mess this up. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, okay, so uh, that's what 120 cups looks like. That didn't take me very long, maybe like five minutes. Dude, I bet I could make a whole wall right here. Oh my gosh, I wanna try this. This is gonna be great. Well, time to start all over. I'm gonna cry! I'm just gonna keep going on this part and live my best life, okay? <laughs> So I guess uh, 100 cups, good. 200 cups, not so much. I guess I gotta be more careful or like do a better base next time. I don't know. If you guys want me to do this one again, let me know. Otherwise, I'm calling it quits. All right, so your friend's over there wrapping some presents for you, but they're behind a bush and you just can't see around it. What are they doing? I wanna see. Maybe I can use this pipe to spy through the bush. Oh my God, I have an idea. What you're gonna wanna do is get about a four foot section, then you get a 90 degree angle, a mirror, and just hot glue the mirror right inside of it. Just like this. Do the same thing with another 90 degree angle and just put it on there. Wow. Now you have an awesome spy gadget uh, pipe thing. Oh my God, they're getting you shoes. Wow, what a great, what a great friend. Thank you so much. You know, ever since I was a little kid, I actually wanted one of these, so I'm kind of excited to try this one. Let's do it. Okay, so first things first, here's our mirror. And there, there I am. Hello, how's it going? Ooh. Anyway, oh, that broke off a lot easier than I thought. Then we go ahead and get our L bracket. This one is nice and dusted, just how I like it. Shove that bad boy in there. I don't even think I need to hot glue it. It kind of stays in place. To the other side. Oh my gosh, it's already working. Wow. Okay, let's see if this bad boy works. You ready? Okay. Uh. Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh. You can actually see it kind of. Hello. You can see my eye. Oh my God. It's very blurry, but you can see it. And I can see the camera. Well, guys, I guess I'm going to have to say that this one kind of works. I definitely have mixed feelings on it, but it definitely kind of works. Now, was this setup worth $30? Probably. Probably not. I feel like I could have probably gotten a, a better toy for like five at Walmart. But anyway, uh, yeah, so I guess it works. On to the next one. This one's really easy, really simple. Uh, my kind of prank, okay? So we get our pen, just a very basic pen. And then we write all over the grip. Get a hold of yourself, pen. Get a grip. Okay, yes, looks good. Now it's time to try it on the intern. <laughs> Oh, intern! Yeah, what's up, Robbie? Hey, I'm really sorry that I keep calling you intern. I just... Uh, I keep forgetting your name, if I'm being totally honest. Uh, and that's why I want you to wear this Hello My Name Is sticker and write your name on there. That way, I'll never forget your name ever again. No way! Dude, this is so nice of you! Yeah, no problem. Do uh, you have a pen? Oh, yes, I have a pen <laughs> right here. <laughs> All right. Hello, my name is... Oh, we're gonna finally learn what the intern's name is. I... N... Wait, what? T... What? E... What? R... What? A what? T... I... O... N... A... L. What? Wait. International. Wait, what? Your name is International? Well, I'm Cuban, so I like to think I'm not Mr. Worldwide, but I'm Mr. International, Robbie. What? That's... Uh, I didn't even think of that. Oh my god, you're... You're like Mr. Worldwide. That's crazy. I didn't even know that was your real name. That's intense. Okay, well, um... Look at your hand. Wait, did the prank not work? Guys, the prank didn't work! You're telling me, Robbie, this whole time you haven't even remembered my name? That's why you're so surprised at this? Cause you haven't remembered? Dude, I've been doing so much work for you and you don't even remember my own name? You know I'm not gonna wear this. You don't even respect me. Oh no, 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 no. Excuse me, I was using that pen. Well, now nobody gets it. This trick is super simple. Simply bite one end of the pen and push it with your hand. 
See how it falls out of me as now? Okay, uh, first of all, one, two, three, go. I like your shirt. Uh, wh where, where did you get that shirt from? It reminds me of a shirt that I have. Uh, you know, the one I'm wearing right now. How funny, we're both wearing gray pizza shirts. Uh, anyway, here's our highlighter. So what they did was they went like this. Oh, I almost got it. You could see it. Uh, right. Okay, let's try it again. Ready? One, two, and... Dang it! So close! Okay, so if you zoom into my face, you, you won't notice it. Ready? Dang it! I am really bad at this, guys. Oh, I got it that time! I, except for that one little part, but I freaking got it! Well, guys, I'm guessing we're gonna have to say that this one kinda, kinda works. Just need some practice at it, just like everything else. <laughs> okay, so have you ever been in class and you really just want to use your phone? So you manage to cut out a little notebook, and then you put your phone inside the notebook? Oh no, the teacher's coming! Kevin is book smart. He used the book to his advantage. The teacher, she never saw it coming. He's like, whew, I got away with that one, but little did she know he was playing Bejeweled the whole time. I can't believe you. Maybe I could do something similar with my little book. So what she does is she cuts out her makeup box and then gets her razor, which I still don't think you're supposed to have in school. I don't know why every 123Go video, they always have like a pocket razor. So then you just slide it in there and then boom. You have makeup in class. It's the perfect crime. Let's try this one. Okay guys, yeah, so instead of wasting an entire notebook, I'm just gonna use this post-it pad. And for some reason, my school doesn't allow bottle caps. I don't know why. It's just outlawed the school for whatever reason. So my goal is to try and fit this bottle cap inside of this post-it note. I'm gonna take the first couple layers off, draw around it, just like that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now I'm gonna break out my X-Acto knives. Now I just have to carefully cut out a bunch of these post-it notes till I'm done. Here we go. Okay, we got some down. Uh, now we have all these left. I didn't really get anywhere. We only did two. Ugh, this is gonna take a while. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, and we are all done, I think. It's not as clean as uh, theirs looked. It's definitely not as clean as theirs looked, but you know, it'll do. Does our bottle cap fit? I mean, to find fit. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Maybe if I put it upside down. Oh, that works. Yeah. If we put it upside down, it works perfectly. I just put the top one back on. Boom. Yeah. Bottle cap? What bottle cap, teacher? I have no bottle cap. All I have here are post-it notes. Well, guys, I'm going to go ahead and say that this one works. First, pull one arm out of its hole. Grab the new shirt and slip both arms through the hole. Pull the shirt down over your torso, then put the old shirt over your head, and pull the rest of it off your arm. Boom. Pretty nifty, huh? Okay, let's try and take off our shirt without uh, taking off our bottom shirt. So the first step, so take one arm out, and then we put this shirt over our current shirt. Boom, boom. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh, can't say. Okay, and then once I do that, I slip my arm through here, oh. and then this shirt should come off. Whoa! It's like magic. Oh my gosh. Whoa! Now I'm officially in it up a shirt! Well guys, I guess we can say that this one freaking works. Add a little soak to your makeup sponge, soaking it in water like Amy's doing here. Pop it into the microwave and set the timer for about one minute. Once it's done, go ahead and take it out. After it's had time to cool, take the sponge out. Squeeze out any excess water it's holding on to. Okay guys, so here's our beauty blender. This was actually yellow originally, now it's kind of like a dark brown yellow. So hopefully this works. Here's our cup of water. Let's go ahead and drop that in there. Here's our hand soap. Just kind of uh, put some of that on there. Yeah, not bad. Now let's go ahead and toss this in the microwave. One, zero, zero, and start. Okay, here's our sponge. Ooh, hot. It's definitely taking a lot of stuff off of it. I don't even know how I'm gonna get this out of here. Burning my finger. Ah! Okay, I definitely have to wait till this cools down, I think. Ah! But look how clean it is. Is that one spot? Ah! Woo! Jeez. Dang, that is so clean. I just want to wash it off, but it hurts so bad. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and let this cool down a little bit, and then we'll try it again. Okay, it's a little bit more cooled down. Ooh, still kind of hot. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's definitely cleaning off the, the sponge, though. Wow. Dang. That's so much more yellow. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna say this one works. How many little Skittles do you think it would take to make one massive Skittle? You're about to find out. Let's organize that. Looks like part one is done. Next step, bubbles. These bad boys. 
They don't even look like Skittles anymore, especially when they start boiling in a pot. Look at all that gooey sugar. Smooth as butter. Time for the next phase. Molding the giant candy. Yep, it's all going into that giant bowl. Now let's let this sucker harden. In the meantime, roll out some dough. Carefully place the dough over the candy. And now for a touch of color. Nice! And for the finishing touch, perfect. Okay, guys, so I went to the store and I got... Oh! All of these Skittles. 15 bags of Skittles! That's a lot of Skittles. So I think our first step is to take all these bad boys out of the bag. Oh my gosh. I have never seen this many Skittles in one place before. Oh my god, I want to go swimming in this. Dude, if these were sour Skittles, I would I would be in heaven right now. I love sour Skittles. I probably owe most of my cavities to sour Skittles, if I'm being totally honest. Okay, now for the fun part. It's time to sort all these bad boys out. Oh, I'll see you guys in a couple hours, I guess. Mmm, at least I have Skittles. That took uh, way too long. Oh my god. And we're done. I'm really not sure why the heck I'm supposed to sort all these when we're just gonna end up taking all the color out anyway. Uh, but I freaking did it. Okay, so now that these are all done, it's time to add the seven up. They said bubbles. Uh, I'm just gonna use seven up because it's the only thing that they had at the dollar store. Here we go. Oh, it's fizzing up. Whoa. <laughs> now the green. Did I buy enough Sprite? I think I might be a little short on Sprite. Oh no. Actually, I have the perfect amount. Sweet. I don't know whether I'm supposed to just let these sit or like mix them up. I'm gonna go ahead and mix them up a little bit and see. Oh, they're already starting to turn white. Whoa. I think I need to let them sit for a little bit. Probably not very long. I'd say like five or 10 minutes and then all this dye should start coming off. But does it taste the same? Yep, still tastes like uh, pure sugar. <laughs> okay, so these look like they're about as good as uh, I'm gonna get. So I guess I'll start sifting these bad boys. Okay, now for the yellow. Oh my goodness, and I still have the purple left. I think I'm gonna have to pour these into a bowl because I don't have enough room. Okay, and time for the purple. There we go. Yeah, there we go, that looks pretty good. Now it's time to melt these bad boys down. Here's our pot, here's our Skittles. Uh, okay, that's better. The next one, oh my gosh. That is a beautiful clump of white Skittles. Okay, turn this bad boy on, sweet. Now we're gonna go ahead and let this boil down. Guys, I don't know about you, but I think that this is honestly perfection. Like, look at this. Dude, this is so, like, silky smooth. Okay, let's go ahead and put it in these bowls. So I'm actually gonna use some vegetable oil to make sure that it doesn't stick inside of the bowl. I tried their method where you just put parchment paper, but it doesn't seem to stick. And I feel like it wouldn't make it look very good if, you know, we had all these wrinkles in it. So we're just gonna spray it with this. Okay, now time for the moment of truth. You ready? Oh my gosh. Wow! Dude, this is crazy. This is literally liquid Skittles. Oh my god, my roommates are gonna kill me. I got that everywhere. Ah! Okay, next one. Yes! Perfect. Ah! Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, now I'm just waiting for these uh, liquid Skittles to cool down. I'll come back when they're hardened. Okay guys, so here they are. I think they turned out uh, pretty solid so far. Let's see if we can actually get them out. But first I'm gonna roll out some parchment paper. See, it looks totally different. You can't even actually tell that I put parchment paper down. That's kind of funny. Okay, I hope it comes out really clean. You ready? One, two, and... Whoa! That came out like perfect, actually. Okay, time for the next one. One, two, and... Uh-oh. Woo! 
There we go. Dude, oh, awesome. We got two perfect Skittles. Now we got these made. It's time to make the outer shell. We got some uh, fondant here. They said to use dough, but I feel like dough wouldn't work very well. Plus, oh, look how perfect this fondant looks. Wow, that is beautiful. Time to flatten it out. I don't have a rolling pin, so I'm just going to use a piece tea can. Okay. This is a little harder than I thought. Roll it, roll it, roll it. Okay, I think this is about as uh, as good as we're gonna get. So, <laughs> I'll roll out the other one and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, we're all done with the second one. I actually think this one turned out a lot better than this one, if I'm being honest. So now it's time to, oh my gosh. It's time to fuse these guys together somehow because I don't think that they'll stay together with fondant. Dude, that is perfect though. I am so proud of this. Okay, how would I, oh, they're already stuck together. Wow, that was way too easy. This is crazy. It's a giant Skittle made from like 10,000 tiny Skittles. That's amazing. Okay, now time to put some fondant on this bad boy. Here we go. Be careful. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna do this one on the bottom because I feel like the bottom, the bottom's gonna look kind of weird. Be very careful. No. It's really good. Wow. I'm pretty happy with the Skittle so far. Not bad. Can I roll this out? I think I can. Wow. I can actually just use this to smooth it out. That is wild. I love fondant. Dude, Cake Boss, you want to have me on your show? Okay, next time. This is going to be the top, so I can make it look extra nice. Wow. Oh, I'm missing a little bit right here. Can I roll that on? Okay, yeah, it's working kind of. Put these guys together. Wow. Dude, this is awesome. This turned out really good, actually. We freaking did it. We made a giant Skittle. Now we just have to make the S. Here we go. I can't open this package because it's so slippery. Oh, no. Well, I mean, if the S is made out of blue, that's fine. So I'm going to roll this out. Wait, I just found white. Oh, this is perfect. Get out of here. Actually, I'm going to eat you to see what you taste like. Oh, oh, that tastes so weird. Weird sugary dough. It actually tastes like maybe cake dough. It tastes like Play-Doh with like a lot of sugar in it. This is the weirdest thing I've ever tasted. I take that back. I've tasted a lot of weird things before. There we go. Break out our white fondant. Now we have to cut out an S using our X-Acto knives. Now this one I do. Okay, can I reconstruct it to make an S? Here we go. And we freaking did it! I'm just gonna roll this on really quick. Wow! Dude, we made a giant Skittle! Woo well, guys, I guess we can say it. This one freaking works! And now I have a giant Skittle. Can I even eat this thing? What am I supposed to do with this? What the heck? This is awesome. I love it. Great hack, 10 out of 10, would recommend. This bottle is the perfect measuring tool. This is enough for one serving. In you go. Second guessing is a thing of the past. Oh, okay guys, so here's our bottle, here's our spaghetti. Now I have to break out my craft stove. Don't need that anymore. And And here's our pot. But first, we need to add water to it. There we go. Oh, yes. That should do perfectly. Turn the sucker on. Is this really on? Oh, yes. That is fire. That is, in fact, fire. Cool, cool. And I'll see you guys when this guy's done boiling. Okay, now that's boiling. Let's go ahead and get our pasta and our bottle. And theoretically, this should be the perfect portion. Are you ready for this? Come on. Oh, oh no. This is more difficult than I thought. What do I do with all the excess pasta? No. I'm breaking my pasta. Uh, yes. Get in there, extra pasta. I feel like I'm gonna, I have to pack it full. Looks, yeah, that should, uh, that, okay, now that we have our perfect portion, let's go ahead and toss it in here. Here we go. Get in there. I'm gonna let this boil for a little bit, and then, uh, we'll, we'll see if this is actually the perfect portion. Oh, Robin, your, uh, pasta is about to boil over. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that looks about done. We should do the spaghetti test. Uh, let's do this. Okay, in three, two, one. Oh, yeah, that definitely stuck. Yeah, so that looks pretty good. Uh, Toby, you want to try some out? Oh, heck yeah, I do. Okay, here you go. Oh, oh God. Oh, oh, God, that's so hot. Oh, oh. Robbie, that's very hot still. Oh, oh, my God, Toby, I'm so sorry. Oh, it's, it's okay. Oh, oh. I think I burnt the roof of my mouth. How does it look? Uh, Toby, I can't, I can't. You're literally, uh, it's fine. Oh, man, I feel 
feels like it's melted or something. But is this the perfect serving of pasta? Let's find out. Okay, that looks like an okay amount of pasta. I wouldn't say it's the perfect amount, maybe just a tiny bit more. But I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one freaking works. Well, time for me to go eat some pasta now. Yeah, it's pretty good. Now let's do the next half. In class, we have to stay in our seats. But Jennifer is taking it way too literally. Nice. What? <laughs> okay! <laughs> yes, perfect! Yeah, what is that? You've been pranked! <laughs> Spider? What is this? It's a hanger! You're so hey. trapped in your chair now! What? I don't think I'm very trapped. You're trapped in your chair! You've been stuck! What? You've been pranked! I can stand up! Well, guys, I guess we can say that this one freaking works! It doesn't, though! It does not work! It works! Oh my god! One, two, three, go! You never let me down before! Someone must have dropped it. Finders keepers, right? Perfect. Hey, this trick really works! Ooh, okay, guys, so here's our cookie cutter. And I think for this one, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is make it so that our friend here is sitting underneath the palm tree. Yes! He's truly enjoying himself. Can you guys even see him? He's really enjoying himself underneath the palm tree now. Okay, so on second thought, I thought it would be really sad if I just put him in Hawaii alone by himself inside of a freaking heart. So I think we need to get him a little friend. Let's see. Okay, now if I were a skeleton, where would I be? I got it! People say that they had skeletons in their basement! So it looks like that's where I'm going! Oh. Oh. There's no skeletons in there! Okay, so no skeletons in the basement. Then what about the attic? Oh, I found one! Oh. Hey, I know someone you might like. Oh, here you go! Oh. What do you guys think? I think they're a perfect couple, honestly. Name a better duo, I dare you. Okay guys, let's have ourselves a little photo shoot. So yeah, just like this. Yes, how's that? Oh, my flash was on! This is a lot harder. I, I had to go really wide for this. Is that better? I think that's a lot better. Okay, so this is how freaking far away I am from them. I'm pretty far away right now. So we're just gonna... Ah! Oh, this is so hard to hold. Okay, and... Okay, what do you guys think? So there's a photo. That looks kind of nice. I kind of like that. And then that's a photo. Okay, I definitely think it would look a lot better if it was on a sandy beach, but, uh, you know... Cardboard fort it is. Yeah, this one looks pretty fun. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one freaking works. If cutting onions is such an easy task, why do you cry every time you do it? Turns out, holding bread in your mouth helps you get rid of the onion blues. Okay, so here's our freaking plate. Here's our onions. I'm gonna go ahead and pop one just to test it out. Get my special craft knife. Let's see if this Oh my god, I almost stabbed myself in the eye. That's scary. Don't play with knives, kids. This is dangerous. Let's see if I can make myself cry. Dude, honestly, this is gonna be perfect to go with my spaghetti. I'm not crying at all. I'm not crying. You're crying. This might take a little longer. Okay, give me a minute, okay? I'm just gonna cut up as much as I can. For some reason, I'm not freaking crying, and I don't know why. Maybe I just gotta have my face right over the onions. Oh, yeah, that's working. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, that's definitely working. Okay, yeah, I can feel a little watery. Oh, yeah. Okay, so now we get our bread. It's gonna be so freaking squished now. Why did I even do that? Is this still even good? My bread is old. Does it have to be toast, or does it have to be bread? Okay, move out of here. Grab our toaster. Oh, no! My bread! It'll be fine. And boobity boo. And now we wait. Time to think about my life. Oh man, those onions are so strong. I have a really delayed reaction to the, this onion cutting. I wonder if this toast thing's actually gonna work. Two hours later. Oh my god! I was literally waiting for it and it still scared me. This is too much for me. Okay, don't eat that anymore. Okay, now to put this oh god. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, now to put this in my mouth while I cut a fresh onion. Okay. Oh my gosh! Wow, my eyes don't burn at all! Oh my god, now they do! Oh what the heck? Oh my god, that's weird. Oh, that's really weird. Well guys, I just forgot to show this one freaking Shut? Yeah. Watch and learn. This duct tape is gonna save the day. Wrap the tape around the lid. Pull the end. Hey you guys, the first thing we're gonna need is some pickles. First I'm gonna try and open it. Oh, oh, oh no, it's so hard to open these pickles. How will I ever open them? So we break out our duct tape. Oh, there we go. And apparently 
they just kind of uh, put it around like this. Yes. Do I trust this? I don't know. Is this gonna work? I don't know. We'll find out. I'm watching it just like you guys. Gosh. Okay. Ready? And supposedly this should be really easy to open. Okay, you guys ready for this? In three, two. Get off of here. Let's try this again. Yeah, that's a lot better. Okay, we're gonna try this again. Three, two, one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Three, two, one. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and try this with some different. Yes, this should do. Okay. Oh man, we are just experiencing all sorts of technical difficulties today. Let's go around town. Yes. Are you ready? Last one, guys. I think this is gonna do it. Three, two, one. Oh! I got pickle juice all over everything. But it freaking works! Guys, oh my gosh! I guess I'm gonna have to say this one freaking works! Oh, oh, it's getting all over my computer. Oh! Okay guys, so this one's a little bit of an original prank. I've done a few videos where I like glue stuff to my face, but I've never done screws. And I think that would look really cool if I did screws on my face. Plus it would make a great prank. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, make it so that these aren't super sharp. Just kinda round out the edge a little bit. Or flatten the edge. These are already flattened luckily, and I'm just gonna stick these onto my face. Okay, let's see, which tool should I use for this? No. Maybe, maybe, definitely not. I'm gonna try the sander first. So I'm thinking maybe if I get the screw, Screw, and then I get the sander. I can just kind of shave it to like a more flat tip. It looks like my battery's dead. We'll try this again. Okay, I feel like this is gonna take a long time if I sand this whole thing down. So I guess it's time to break out the big boy. Okay, so first I need to vise them down really quick. And also I decided to use longer screws because the other ones would be kind of hard to vise down. There we go. Yes. That now is officially very secure. I'm just gonna go ahead and try and cut it off now. Wish me luck. We knew that screws were so freaking tough. Okay, I did it. And it looks very hot. I probably shouldn't touch that, but I did. Oh, yep, yep, that's very freaking hot. Next one. <gasps> that is clamped in there. Oh my goodness. Okay, next one. Perfect little divot. Okay, let's try this. And check. Picked it up with my to-do list because I don't want to burn myself. Just gonna go ahead and do a couple more of these and then I'm gonna glue them to my freaking face. Okay, now I think I'm gonna go ahead and flatten these down a little bit so that they're not super like sharp on my face. Okay, not bad. Yeah, these are all looking pretty good. Nice and flat on the edge right there. Okay, now it's time to glue these things to my face. I'm really hoping this actually works because if it does, this would look really legit. I'm just gonna get some eyelash glue. I use this stuff for everything because I'm hoping it's non-toxic and it won't kill me. Okay, here we go. And just stick on my face, please. Just stick on my face. Ah! Is it gonna work? I think they might be a little too heavy. You can do a bowl. Oh no. Maybe if I just stick the whole thing in eyelash glue, will that work? I think this might not actually work, but I have hope in it. I think I have to let it sit for a second. I'm gonna let it sit and we'll we'll find out what happens. I'll let you guys know how this turns out in a second. So it's looking like these things don't want to stick to my face, unfortunately. So I think I'm gonna have to do the old hot glue method. Here we go. So we just uh, put our hot glue, just like that, and then stick it in there. Yeah, not bad. I wonder if I could stick this on my face right now. I have it on low so that it's not too hot. Anyway, I'm just gonna do a few of these really quick. Boo, 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 boo. Okay, let these uh, cool down for a little bit, and we'll try and stick them on my face again. Okay, let's try this again. Oh. Five second rule. Is it five second rule or five second roll? Anyway, 
There we go. Oh, this is definitely gonna work a lot better. Yes. Okay, I think I'm gonna put this one on my nose. Here we go. Yes. Oh my gosh. That works so much better, actually. Yes. It's sticking. Okay, looks pretty good. A little more. Yeah, ha ha. <gasps> dude, that's awesome. We'll do the other side. Oh no, here we go. Our second roll again. Oh, got it all over my nose. This is eyelash glue, not nose glue. Here we go, and try this again. Oh no. Oh. I'm just gonna hold that for a little bit, and then wait for it to uh, for the glue to dry. <laughs> not bad. It's not straight though. I need to straighten it. Oh, that's looking not bad. Yeah. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and add some more to my face. Oh, ah, stop. Ah, glue is so sticky. This is harder than I thought. No, I can feel it slipping off. Ah. Oh. Okay, I, I can't do this on camera. This is a lot of, this is too much stress. Okay, this is how it ended up turning out. I can't really talk a lot, so uh, bear with me on this next part. I'm gonna be applying the blood now. Oh boy. Ooh. Okay, here we go. Oh no, this is so extreme. It looks pretty good though. Holy crap. Yeah, wow, that turned out really good. I can't really talk a lot, but uh, anyway. Now it's everyone's favorite part of the video where we recreate the thumbnail. Oh no, it's coming off, no. I think some technical difficulties on this one. Here. Okay, and. <gasps> Yeah, something like that ought to do. Okay, now let's test this out on Chris. Oh, hair Jordan! Oh, Chris! I screwed my face up! What the heck? I literally screwed my what face up! Dude, is this, oh, is this I mean, you get them out! Get out! Dude, get them out! I messed up! I messed up, dude! I messed up, dude! dude. dude. You big prey! Dude. That looks real! Oh, oh, oh my god! Take that, Chris! That looks you so big real! Bro, how long have you been in here? I've been doing this for hours. <laughs> Dude, that looks that real. Oh my gosh. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. <laughs> Dang, dude. Woo! Did you know, if you put some of the pencil onto the metal part of the tweezers, you can use them to trace on your brows more easily. Start at the inside end of your brow and move to the other end without lifting the tool. Using a brush, you can help keep the hairs in line. Woo! Okay, so first things first, I gotta put my hair up in the bun with the scrunch. Thank you so much, Tori, for making me this homemade scrunch. I love this scrunch so much. And here we go. Woo! Full palm tree. So here are our tweezers. Here's our eyeliner. Ironically, I think I was supposed to use an eyebrow pencil, but you know, I'm gonna make do with what I have. So here we go. Oh no. Okay, so we just uh, do that real easy. And then I just sort of make my way downtown. Oh, that is not really working. What am I, what am I even doing wrong? Put some more on maybe? Try this again. You ready? Oh, oh, yes. Maybe it's because I'm using eyeliner. It should do the same thing though. Okay. How, how the heck are we even, how are we, ow, ow! I accidentally plucked one. Yeah, that looks, <laughs> that looks pretty good. My eyebrows look a lot more full. I'm really happy with this. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one freaking works. Think I could snag a piece of that tape? And it looks like the glitter is actually sticking to the tape. Very nice. Okay, so luckily I put a lot of weird makeup on my face today, and uh, it's the perfect time to try out this hack. So we just, uh, what the heck is the end of this thing? Okay, this might be a while. I got it! Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and... Oh my god! Wow! I don't know if you can see that or not, but it got... Oh, oh my god, is my eyebrow still intact? Did you take out my eyebrow? Okay, a lot of the hair's still there. Okay, that's good. <gasps> There's a bunch of hairs on. No. There's so many eyebrow hair. I did not think of that. What have I done? <gasps> okay, so not a good idea to do this on your eyebrows. Let's see if it'll work for the rest of my makeup. Uh, I have a lot of eye makeup on right now. Um, ah! Ow! 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 <laughs> Ow! <laughs> New piece. Ah! So far, not enjoying this one. How's my eyebrow looking? Oh, there's still definitely a lot of makeup on there. As you can see, there is in fact makeup on this tape. Yeah, that's definitely some, some eyeliner that I put on my face earlier. So uh, I just did this side of my face. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get a makeup wipe and uh, 
try it on the other side of my face and we'll see which one works better. Oh man, this is so much more enjoyable already. This doesn't sting as much, so that's nice. It doesn't really sting at all, actually. What a freaking concept. Oh yeah, my makeup is definitely coming off. Look at, you can see the bags under my eyes. Oh my gosh, yeah. That's definitely working a lot better. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can tell, but it definitely feels like there's a lot of makeup still on my face and also uh, tape adhesive now. But on this side, my face is definitely a lot more makeup free. You can see all the bags and stuff under my eyes, my bright purple under eye. So that's good. So my conclusion, if I had to choose between tape and just a makeup wipe, honestly, the makeup wipe is a lot cheaper and it's not as painful. So I think I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Have an empty Pringles can? Outline a cutout like this, then cut it out with a blade. Be sure to disguise the can. Once that's done, fill it up with a snack. Nice choice. Still have the lid? Cut off its ridge and drop it in. This way your pencils can sit on top. Pretty brilliant, right? Okay, here are our Pringles. I need to take them out of here first. Oh, oh yeah, man, these are delicious. Oh, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in a baggie so that I don't waste them. Yeah, save this for later. Okay, now we gotta cut a hole in this bad boy. Here we go. Okay, yeah, that ought to do it. Then we get our paper that we're gonna be using to cover it up. Just gotta cut it to size. Here we go. Oops, okay, get out of here. Yeah, that ought to do it. So then, we just kind of, oh no. Now I have this label on it. I have a solution, flip it over. Okay, looks good. I feel like I want to cut this top off. Yes, looks good. Then we go ahead and get some tape. Yeah, that looks pretty, this looks pretty legit. I feel like I might need to cut this down a little bit though. Sprig this guy out again. Yeah, that's a way better size. Don't need that anymore. Does this still slide up and down? Oh, it does, perfect. So now we just gotta put our candy in here and see if it works. Luckily, I have a very well-sorted candy folder. Let's see, what would be the best candy for the job here? I'm feeling Skittles. Here we go. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> okay, put these Skittles in there. Yeah, it looks pretty, looks pretty legit. And apparently we just cut off this top. There we go, you know what? I tried my best, okay? Grab some pens and stuff. Oh, you guys remember this old guy? One guy in Leviosa. Yeah, so we just put all of our pencils and stuff. Boom, it's like, this looks like a legit pencil holder. Let's try it out. Oh man, am I excited for this one. Okay guys, are you ready for this? Man, I really hope this works. Two in. I think I need to loosen this a little bit. Okay, loosen it up a little bit. Now I can just lift it up. And one, one, two in. Candy. Ooh, ooh, piece of candy. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one freaking works. Cut off the bottom of the can of chips. Then replace it with a napkin. And put it back where you found it. Mission accomplished. Woo! Okay guys, so here are our Pringles. But first I'm gonna take them out, that way I don't break the poor things. Here we go. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh yes, put these off to the side for a second. Now we have to cut off the bottom. And luckily, I have the perfect tool. Here we go. And a one, and a two, and a... Oh no, oh no, you got this, come on. Perfect, yes! Oh, don't need that anymore. Okay, then we take our Pringles and put them right back inside the can. Cover that up. Yeah, it looks good. Now let's go and test this out on Tori. Oh, hey, Tori DeBrance, how are you doing? Pretty good, how, how are you doing? I'm doing good, I just, I left my chips uh, in your room. Uh, can you grab those for me really quick? Why are your chips? I just need, uh, Tori, I need my chips, they're right there. I left them my, can you just, they're too far, I can't reach. <laughs> You've been pranked! Oh, it's a day. Here you go. Thanks, Tori, you've been pranked. I gotta go! Okay guys, so a while ago, Tori actually dyed her hair completely with black Sharpie. And after that, her hair was pretty dang dark. So instead of doing all black, I'm doing all the colors. I'm gonna be a rainbow boy. So here we go. Let's start off with red, maybe blue. Should I start out with purple or blue? I'll start with red. Yeah, I'll do red here. Maybe I should mark it. This is gonna be a lot more complicated than I thought it was gonna be. So yeah, how about a little poop right here? I should definitely brush my hair first. Oh my gosh. Uh. Okay, that looks properly brushed. Actually, I don't know, I can't see anything. How does that look? Oh, I look so weird right now. Okay, I just need a little eye hole. So I guess I'll start off with this part right here being red. So we're gonna do this part first, you ready? Yes. Oh, it's already going on. It looks like it's working. Oh no, oh my freaking gosh. Why am I doing this? I can't see what I'm doing, so I'm taping a mirror to my light and I'm hoping that this will work. Please don't fall off. So here we go, keep uh, doing this. Oh, this is gonna destroy my hair. 
Okay, I'm probably gonna be bald after this. Just kidding, knock on wood. I really hope not. I really like my hair. Finally got it to how I kind of like it. Yes, there we go. Now let's go on to orange. Orange. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. I really hope I don't regret this too bad. I feel like I'm going to though. I'm just drawing on my hair, don't mind me. Red, orange, yellow. I don't know if the yellow is gonna show up on my hair at all. Oh my gosh, it kind of does. I'm just drawing on my hair so casually. Yes, yes. This is art. This is how you make art, guys. You know what? I might do this with my hair more often. I feel pretty punk right now. Oh, I can't see where I'm separating. Oh, no. Guys, I highly recommend not doing this at home. I mean, Tori did, like, mix hers with conditioner or something like that, and that's probably a way better way to do it. How's this even looking? I can't even see it. Oh, that's so choppy. That is so freaking choppy. I'm doing my best, guys. Now for blue. What if I just do it like this? Wow, this is actually kind of working. One more. Let's grab a chunk and just start drawing. Woo! I think I'm done. Okay, guys, you ready for the big reveal? Two hours later. Yeah. <gasps> actually, that kind of looks really cool. Oh, shoot. That is kind of sick, actually. I bet this is awful for my hair, but at least it freaking looks cool. Wow. I am kind of happy with this, actually. If this doesn't come out, I don't think I'll be all that mad. Let's see, how does it look with my beanie? Uh, I don't know. This looks wild. Holy crud. Wow. That is kind of cool. I'm kind of digging this. Well, guys, I guess I'm going to have to say that this one works. Okay, now it's everyone's favorite part of the video where we record the thumbnail. Woo! This is actually an original thumbnail, so we're making the thumbnail right now. Pull down the trusty green screen. Yes. I don't think my hair is going to like show on this, but we'll give it a shot. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, I think that ought to do it. Push the plastic bottle down the middle like this. We'll snag a pair of scissors and cut the plastic ring. Wrap the plastic tightly around a pen like this. Secure it closed with a thin piece of tape. Drop it in a little bowl and fill it with piping hot water. After some time passes, cut the plastic long ways. Now flip it around and do the same thing on the other side. Nail glue will serve as the base of your new acrylic nail. Place it over your nail. Add some nail polish to tack things off. So here's our bottle. Here's our scissors. Get out of here. Cut the label off. Let me cut it down the middle. Okay. Cut it again. Ah! Couldn't clean this part very well, but let's go ahead and make sure that this uh, is the same size as my nail. That's definitely way too big. Is that better? Oh, that looks a little better. But that seems about right. Okay, then apparently we just uh, sniff it. Let's go ahead and get our pen, and we just kind of roll it around the pen. But first, I need to tape it down. Boop, boop, boop. And nice and tight. Probably shouldn't have done it underneath this thing, actually. Ah! Well, don't have to worry about it now. No! And then it broke up on the other side. Okay, here we go. Nice and tight. Firmly grasp it. And then tape it shut. There we go. Now I have to pop it off. So, uh, come on. Oh, why did I tape it to this? This was uh, this was not a good idea. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it. Come on, you got this. Ha ha! I've done it. And boop. Now we need some boiling water. Click. Oh, now I just gotta wait till this is done. Ding! Fries are done. Don't worry, it was just a cup. Toss this guy in here, then put our water. Oh no, this always happens and I always forget. Nice one, Robbie. Okay, is that fully submerged? It is, oh no, I think it's way too hot. I think it's melting it. Oh, what have I done? Okay, well, uh, looks like I just have to wait for it to, to sit and we'll see what happens. <laughs> okay, it's pretty cooled down now. Uh, I'm just gonna fish it out. Oh, can I even get it? Come here, come on. Okay. Oh! Maybe if I use pliers? That works. Don't need that anymore. Get out of here. Okay, it's still a little hot. Let it cool down just a little bit. Okay, how we looking? So, the tape feels very squishy. Can I cut it out? Wow, okay. Now I just got to unroll it. Oh, oh no, this kind of actually looks like a nail. Oh my, wow. Oh! I don't know if this one's gonna work because I think I might have... I think I might have twisted it a little too tight. Ah! Maybe if I put in boiling water straight, it'll fix it. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna cut a little part to try and make my nail. Here we go, and... Ah! 
Oh, oh that is so curved. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this nail is gonna look so gross if this actually works. I think what I might do is I'm gonna get some pliers and hold it straight and then cut off the nail portion. Yeah, that should be a long enough nail, right? Oh. Then we're gonna put it back in the hot water. Okay, here we go. <laughs> now it's really malleable. I bet that'll fix it. Ow. Frick, that's so hot. Woo. Getting pretty steamy in here, am I right? Oh. That looks a lot better. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and trim this down a little bit more to kind of like fit my nail, maybe? Just like, uh, a little bit of, a little bit of, yeah, it's looking pretty good. It's a little sharp. Yeah, it took a little bit off there. Wow, it's perfect. That is perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and get our nail glue. I've never used this stuff before. Kind of nervous. How do I even open it? Okay, maybe I should do it on this hand. Oh, that smells like super glue. Oh my god. Am I just putting super glue on my, on my nail? Well, let's hope I, uh, this doesn't kill me. So just, uh, let's go ahead and put that on. Ah! Super glue! Save my fingers! Okay, just gotta hold it. This feels so weird. I should have probably read the instructions before I did this. Oh, it stayed on! This is definitely super glue, though. Uh, <laughs> that's kind of scary. I got a really crazy messed up nail. What do you guys think of it so far? Pretty good? Now let's paint this guy. Or girl, I don't judge. Okay, be real careful, real gentle. I'm not sure if I'm actually doing this right. I've never been very good at painting nails. Um, so we'll see how this turns out. This is an extremely long nail. Wow. Yeah, no one will ever know the difference. Okay, you know what? That actually looks pretty freaking good. I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry, and then I'll show you guys how it turned out. Okay, and I'm back. And it looks like the nail is pretty dry. I mean, it's not like the straightest nail I've ever seen, but I mean, if I if I took a little bit more time on it, I could see this passing to maybe look like a real nail. So I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. Kind of. Not sure if I'd recommend. Oh, how do I get this? <gasps> Ow. I broke a nail. <gasps> Before you use your plate, cover it with a layer of plastic wrap. Then go ahead and pour whatever food you want to eat right on top of it. Chow down on that grab without ever getting a speck of dirt onto your dish. And when you're done, simply throw away the plastic and you're good to go. Oh, okay, so here's our plate. Here's our cling wrap. How do I get this out of here? Uh, come on open. Oh, did I just break it? Oh man, I feel like I'm gonna cut myself on this. Okay, be really careful when you open these things because they're, they're kind of scary. Okay, then we just put this over our plate. Rip, come on! <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, looks pretty good. Okay, now here's our apple. Let's go ahead and slice that up real quick. Oh no, I think I might slice the plastic by accident. That might be a downside to this. You can't really cut things because then you'll cut through the plastic. Okay, and if I did this correctly, it should just... Oh, perfect! Now I'm gonna get some peanut butter. This is my lunch, by the way, guys. I eat this a lot. Peanut butter and apples, one of my favorite meals. Some good stuff. Okay, yeah, this peanut butter looks... it looks great! Now I just gotta eat all my food off this plate and see if it works. Yep, that's a darn good peanut butter apple. Okay, now to eat the rest of them. Oh man, what a mess I've made here. It's a good thing I use this cling wrap. Okay, let's see if this works. Ready? Drum roll, please. And oh, our plate is clean. Woo! Well, guys, I guess we can tell this one works. Woo! Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Look to me this fight right down there. If you guys want to see me try for more life hacks, I have a whole playlist that can be doing that right here. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you guys want this merch, oh wait, this isn't my merch. Oh, here we go. There we go. If you guys want any of my shirts or stickers, you can click right here. Okay, guys, love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Okay, bye. Ah!